Welcome, oh, yeah. everybody, to Outlaws of the Seven, the first live play game that I'm DMing, as well as the first game that I'm DMing. Um, do Hell we have yeah. anything that we want to cover before we get into the actual show? There is. We probably do. Oh, apparently, apparently, my mic was coming through the wrong source. I fixed that now. See, the tech is just still going to be my fault sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. I just did that. I did that on purpose to make yeah. Panda feel comfortable. There is a new series, and with new series comes new merch. Yeah. So, oh that is yeah. Uh, I did take the lead on that. Uh, we have new merch for Outlaws of the Seven. Uh, if you like the show logo, and if you like especially the character art on uh that you can see on the overlay we have that up on the dn dorks merch store um can someone tag in for links and stuff i don't have exact stuff in front of me i'll i'll tag in because i set this up so i set this up like an hour ago so all the merch should be there we have the outlaws uh shirts hoodies stickers and then we have the character art full wanted posters by the way not just like the stuff you're seeing here it is the full wanted posters for all the characters with the outlaws logo on the back Again, all that should be there. If it's not, let me know in chat, and I'll try to fix it on the fly, but it should be set. Also, for the first week, I think I had this set to go to, like, the 19th of August. If you use the code OUTLAWS, all caps, in the merch store, you get 10% off. And that also applies to all our old stuff, too. Our old stuff is still there. So, uh, OUTLAWS, 10% off, all caps, uh, for the first week to celebrate the new series. But, yeah, go check out the merch. There's a lot of new stuff. Lots of new merch. There we go. I think that's, that's all I got to say for that. I'm oh, I guess this is kind of merch related. We have new emotes in the chat as well. I have updated Ooh. all the emotes. Uh, we have the Outlaws logo as the free tier. And then if you subscribe at any tier, you get all the character art as Twitch emotes as well. That's all I got. Uh, and as always, after every episode, we do a talk show after show, the uh, backspace or backstage. Well, not backstage, anymore. Backstage, the after show with a name. Yeah, do we need really a new name for that one? Name is just backstage. I think, I think backstage still works. Yeah. It's just no longer a clever pun anymore. <laughs> yeah. It works. It's just not funny anymore. It's still Perfect. technically right. backstage. Uh, we do backstage exclusively on the Patreon. God tier. Uh, and God so if you want to talk about. God tier. I keep forgetting we have two tiers because there's only like seven people who aren't on like the five dollar <laughs> tier. But we support everything yes, you're able to give you. us, uh, and uh, it helps run this show. Yeah. Oh, also, a fun thing about yes, that Patreon: if you sign up for annual, you get like what ten percent off. Oh, I didn't Ooh. even know that. Do you? Are they, I actually I have so. no are they still doing that free? And they are doing well? free trial I, still. I, so you can, if you can binge every single after show in a week, yeah, go no, for I it. I think it's more than a week for the content, around. so you can't. I was about to say, that's You possible. physically can't. I don't know. Not the after <laughs> show. Our, our, the whole, because we always started doing right. after shows like halfway through. Mm. So it's not a week of after shows. It's a week of shows. Also, by the way, I'm going to cut in here. Thank you to everyone who's subbing in Twitch, by the way. That's very much appreciated. I'm seeing... Uh, I, again, I'm not used to not running stream stuff, so if I miss stuff, like, sorry. But thank you. I do see them, and I appreciate he you He can all. also actually watch his own Twitch chat now in comparison to now I'm the one who can't actually look at the chat the entire time. I am. I'm... Okay. Um, with that, are we ready to get into the actual game? I'm so yeah, excited to be a player I'm again. Ready. All right. So, I actually have a file to go uh actually <laughs> i had a file to go i have a map that uh i can actually show of the world that we have Ooh. i just need to Ooh. actually Ooh. put it in Streamlabs because for some reason the map that i decided to make was not one of the things that i thought was necessary to get prepared because of course not uh, I love Panda seeing the pain the of, nature of getting ready. forgetting half of the stuff that you needed to do as a DM, which I definitely oh, no, not, don't never, do. Not, no, every week. not ever. <laughs> no. I'm realizing. Oh, I've never forgotten anything in my life. I've never forgotten a thing. And if I had, Obviously. I wouldn't remember. I remember the day I was born. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? I can't even. I don't even know how to react oh to that, Nathan. I feel like that could be true. Oh, map! We have a map. map. It's really big. Okay, welcome to the country of Asales. This is where we are going to be playing the rest of this campaign. Um, 
I have like a whole little speech planned out. Give me a minute. Oh, bones. Uh, <laughs> Oh, look at this. Oh, oh yeah. bones. Okay. <laughs> That's worrying. Is everyone ready for our opening speech before we get into it? I'm so ready for Perhaps a monologue. Let's go. Okay. Uh, the players have all read this, but this is the first time I'm reading it to everybody. Um, I'm not reading the whole document to the players. I'm just reading the opening. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. This world, the country of Asales is one of thieves and outlaws. The world used to be filled with magic and adventures, and while they still exist, everything has changed. Ever since the Dune, a catastrophic geological event that has made the once green landscape an arid desert, technology has advanced centuries ahead, and people more often than not rely more on their guns than their magics. Because of the harsh terrain and volatile population, no significant countries have been able to form. Only collections of independent towns and small vessels of civilization held together by contracts, promises, and money. This is a for-profit world, from the lowest thief to the wealthiest tycoon, and everyone is only out to make their fortune, and absolutely no one knows what they'll do once they get it. It has been this way for nearly 50 years, the first signs of socio societal structure, if not civilization, in nearly 500 years following the Dune. This world only works on the deal. There are no major governments to speak of, and absolutely everything is for profit. To pay off a debt, to pay a bill, to pay an employee, all of the people who need it for the same reasons. Nothing is shared outside of possibly small bands of thieves and marauders, and even then, you have to watch your back. Everything is either bought or stolen, from the prisons to the bodyguards, from water to housing. Welcome to the country of Asales and Devil's Mesa. And that is where we are going to start our campaign. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, can I can I interject in real quick with something that a couple people in chat... Is is there a, a subtle Vonfil reference in that map you made? Oh, the split? Panda? The, not the split. The, um, the fact that the sea, the mm -hmm. name of the sea... Slightly. A little bit. Okay. All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. Just a little... Easter egg there. I, I, all right. All okay. right. I see you. And I, I see you just and a, I appreciate just a, you. Just a little small reference here and there. I see you and I appreciate you. Opening Incredible. in this world, we are going to settle in to the small kingdom prison that you see in the center of the map. For our entire party has been thrown in jail. We are actually going Love to it. open with a new prisoner being inducted into the prison. They have had all of their possessions taken away, the same as everybody else, and arrested for, I'm sure they'll tell you. Momo, would you like to introduce your character as she is being inducted into this prison? Hello, I'm Gigi Rich. G G G I G I R I C H E. Um, it's pronounced rich. It's not rich. Some people get that I'm mixed up. It's okay. Um, I've been arrested by mistake. I assure you. They think I'm here for murder, but that is crazy. I have never murdered anyone. They, the guards. I just will speak to them. They must know the riches. How could they not? <laughs> um, and I'll be off on my way to. For for my very first ever adventure. All right. Wow. And <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. You, as you're being oh inducted, would you mm -hmm. uh, tell the warden as you are handing over all of your worldly possessions why you have been sentenced to life in the kingdom prison? Okay. So everyone here is under the impression that I murdered my parents that's not true they volunteered to be murdered that's not murder if you volunteer to be killed that can't possibly be murder and also i didn't even do it so what's the problem all right well oh with a very disgruntled oh look the the warden takes all of your stuff puts it under the counter and goes uh Miss Reach, is there anything else that you would like to say before you are locked in the tower for the rest of your days? Um, please let me out. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Unfortunately, that is, is not allowed. 
and second. Is it like a monetary thing? I promise you, I am worth so much money. I'm sure you are, Mrs. Reach. Uh, however, yep. while you are going to have to pay rent for your cell, you are not allowed to pay bail. That is not something that we do here in Kingdom Prison. So, bills will be sent to your next of kin for the rent in your jail cell, and if they cannot pay it, you will get out one way, but I don't think it's the way that you're going to want. So, is it technically murder if I can bring them back? If they're not dead, then they're not murdered, right? You did still technically kill them, so yes, it is still murder. And even so- I did not kill them. That was someone I paid to do that, but they also paid to do that, right. so it doesn't matter. Right, I don't care. I'm not the person who put you in here. That would be the judge, and you would have to <laughs> tell him that, which I'm assuming that you did, uh, and he didn't seem to give a shit either. So, okay. if you could just go with these two guards, they will usher you back to your new home for the rest of your life. And the guards are going to take me to the person in charge, right? No, no. Oh. I'm the person in charge, actually. Well, everyone has a boss, so who's yours? Me. That can't possibly be true. I'm the warden. <laughs> Welcome to my prison. This is the tower. And this is where you're probably going to die. So have fun, guards. Mm -hmm. And two guards come and pick you up by the arms and start walking <sighs> you down the hallway. <laughs> oh, that's unnecessary. I can walk. Thank you. <laughs> As you are brought into this tower, you see a unimaginably tall tower filled to the brim with cells in every single doorway. You could tell that this tower did not always used to be a prison. These doors obviously lead into bigger and smaller rooms. However, it is very obvious that it has been retroactively turned into a prison. However, you're not really sure how long it's been that way. You get marched down too many stairs to count. At least 10 floors under the ground is where you are right now. And you get ushered to a large area that obviously used to be probably a sitting room, not much larger than your average living room. And inside you see three other people, one of which is a very frail old man, one of which is someone who looks like some sort of sheep herder and a giant lion. All of them are wearing the usual rags that you have been given. It's very obvious that they don't really measure out sizes in here. And the gate is open, and you were thrown in. Make your acquaintances. Um, oh, excuse me. Yes. Excuse me. Um, do you not have different um, linens? I am allergic to cotton, so oh. silk will do. Don't worry. That's not. That's not either, Miss. Uh, that would be hair you're wearing. So. And the gate closes in front of you and locks. <laughs> and there you go. Meet your acquaintances with your new uh, your new cellmates. You're going to be living here for a while. And you, in the back, all of you behave. And they turn and they start to walk away. I think Otaria is... From, from what I understand of the character, is probably the most likely to, to make the first introduction here. So, uh, Ataria was, like, taking a nap in the back, just kind of leaning up against the wall, and is sort of rudely awoken by the, the slamming of the gates. Uh, uh, what? Uh, oh, 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 sorry. I've, a new prisoner has joined our uh, merry little band. Hello, hello. He kind of picks himself up off the ground, revealing that he is, like, a few feet taller than everyone else here. He's a Leonin. Gigantic gigantic dude uh, and i kind of quickly rush over hold out like my massive clawed hand for you to shake it up ah, yes greetings my name is king ataria resurrected form of the risen falcon king from the arms past i'd love <laughs> to make your acquaintance oh, king Atari. oh this is what it i i can hardly believe it i read about you oh i've read about so you good to see it's oh, lovely is... lovely to see Atari kind of turns to like the other people and says, see, see, I told you, people know who I am. It's a thing. It's an established thing. And and you are, forgive me for hogging the conversation so much. You, but who are you? Who are you? Uh, Gigi Reesh. 
Gigi Reese. Okay, of course, of course. Well, lovely to make your acquaintance. Of course, as I said, let me introduce you to the other uh, the other members of our uh, motley crew. I assure Here we you, have... Your Highness, introductions can be made on their own. Thank you very much. Uh, and by all means, uh, Bo Buckshot bristles past this Lion King man to directly make a handshake with uh, Gigi. Uh, she is a mountain dwarvish woman. She. And as Panda said, she basically looks like a shepherd. She looks like a southern belle. Doesn't exactly belong in this prison, you know, little boutique peep kind of person. Hello, my name is Bo Buckshot. Uh, you, you're seeming a little turned around, yeah? So, I do hope you'll pay our other cellmate no mind, as I'm sure you know plenty of snake oil salesmen and tricksters are about the streets. You shouldn't listen to a word of the, what this man says, even if it coincides with some of your picture books yeah in the background of the shot atari just shr- like <laughs> what the heck <laughs> oh king king atari he's a famous famous former king um i don't have any of my books with me but if i did i'd be able to tell you do i roll a history check <laughs> <laughs> yeah go ahead and roll a history roll? check go for it. what do i know about king otario um i'll yeah, we'll see what the role is, and then I'll feel that is then a twenty-four. To <laughs> okay. Sheesh. Okay, so I, King Ataria, is the resurrected form of this very powerful ancient figure in the lore of the world. Uh, that I actually am going to toss to yeah. Panda to explain because this is Panda's I'm world. Tell you I'm going to exactly yeah. what you know. I'm the resurrected form the of an ancient king. There was a very famous king in the past. There's no name listed. But there was a very, very, very famous king. However, with mm-hmm. the books that you have, he'd probably be roughly mm-hmm. 500 years old at this point. If not more. Do you, know, you, just, you just look so young for 500. And that's coming yes, from an elf. Dying <laughs> and being resurrected. Being reincarnated will tend to do that, in my experience. It's not pleasant. I do not recommend dying if you can avoid it. But it does wonders for the skin. Wow. Wow. I mean, I'm 200 years old, but wow. 200? You look excellent for 200, yes. Well, elves. You stay youthful forever. Elves, of course. Mm. (laughs) Elves, indeed. And and, uh, a historian! It's sort of come, come. Oh, introduce yourself. Yes. Uh, he slowly gets up off the floor. Uh, goes, uh, yes. Uh, hello, Gigi Reese, was it? It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, I came acquainted with Ataria, the resurrected king, after he kidnapped me to help him. Uh, 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 recruited? Right. Recruited, sorry. Hephaestus. Yes, yes. We my talked Lord. about this. Yes, my lord. Uh, Recruited me to assist him in claiming his rightful claim to the throne. And, uh, well, we got a a bit of a pickle trying to do that. But this is just a minor setback in the grand scheme. My name is Hyphestes. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, Hyphestes. I look around the room just like, okay, a risen king, um, some sort of mean lady, and an old man. Not my choice of adventuring party, but it will do. So, how do you say we escape this place? Oh, well... I'm intrigued. I don't usually try to do things that are against the law if I can avoid it, but this is not one where I can avoid it. (laughs) If anyone could do it, it's King Otaria. Thank you, thank you, Hephaestus. I am quite charmed by your immediate gumption. But, um, this place has a bit of a reputation, and I don't want to stake my life against that reputation on the support, supposed storybook gang. Yeah. See, there are many things in this life you don't learn from a storybook. When you're stranded on dirt road, all that thing's going to do is dry out along with you. So I don't know what this lion business is, and I don't know what this old man business is, and I don't know what your business is, being a stranger not liking me. That's something I'm used to. (laughs) But I vote we take a breath and allow a cooler head to prevail before we go doing some act of daring do all willy-nilly. 
Well, we can always sit around and play Parcheesi. You do love your Parcheesi. <laughs> I could play it for eons and never get bored. I, what a game. It feels like we have played for eons, Hephaestus. Very well, then. What we will do the game. escape plan, but we should, we, should, we should pool our resources and be very familiar with what each other can, 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 can do. Hey, I, I just want to check. Um... Mike, are you really saying it that loud? <laughs> to speak oh, over oh. them. <laughs> to, to speak but over yeah. them, yeah? Okay. Um, <laughs> like two cells over, you hear someone else go, Hey, yo, someone got a breakout attempt? And then you hear the entire tower start fucking erupting in people being like, ah! They're just talking over each other about trying to break out. <laughs> Perfect. Enough noise to cover off Footsteps, let's go. Okay, uh, at that exact moment, you see the same guard that closed you in. Oh. Walks back in, and here's the entire, the ruckus of everything, and you see him do this. Any, many, money, you. And pulls out a revolver and shoots the one random guy at the very top. Loud as hell gunshot. Boom! <laughs> you see the body fall all the way down the tower and down the endless staircase under you. <laughs> he goes, okay! Does anyone else have the idea of escaping? I lean over to Gigi and I like put my gigantic hand on her shoulder kind of whisper like, we don't really say things loudly here, generally. Understood. Understood. Yes, it's best to just keep a lower profile. Coming yeah. from the eight foot line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a question. How long, roughly, yeah. two questions, I guess. How long have me and uh, Otaria been together? And how long have me and Bo been familiar with each um, other at this so, point? How long have we been here before uh, Gigi's arrival? That is a great question. Um, I would say. I know. I was just gonna say I know we've known yeah. each other for a. We've bit. known each other for at least yeah. in my mind. You yeah. guys, you guys have been. <laughs> oh yeah, at guys, least kidnapped yeah, probably you and you guys went around for. I'd say at least like recruited, recruited, <laughs> recruited for like three weeks to a month. I would say you guys were were out in the world. Okay, And I for think sure. that you guys have probably been locked up for probably just about as long, just long enough that like, okay, you're you're like really settled in to the fact that you're a prisoner. <laughs> Right, we're familiar yeah. with the 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 schedule yeah. and the, um, and has Bo been here that whole no, month as Bo well? No, Bo got in here about a week after you guys did. Oh, okay, but we're still okay. so you're like two to three weeks of knowing each other, and then Gigi's new. Got gotcha. it. Cool. Uh, um, yeah, Hyphestes is just going to sit back down. And start setting up Parcheesi on the floor made out of like little <laughs> rocks and like drawings. He has like, like fucking, he took some pebbles and scraped a Parcheesi board into the ground. And he'll just get going. If we start now, we can get a few good games in before evening dinner. And as we get our games in, we can do what was proposed a moment ago and perhaps compare our abilities and things and maybe oh. plan for future Parcheesi games not in this jail cell. Of course, Falcon, prison Falcon <laughs> King of the... Yes, we can do that. Um, well, I'm a historian. I, my mind is greater than my body um i'm uh, back in my day i was pretty mean with a bow and arrow if you get one of those in my hands i can make quick work of someone i'm sure but and of course yes uh, hephaestus is my companion and as i've as i've said as i've made fairly clear i am a uh, autoria the risen falcon king i can do many things as a nature of my uh, my station <laughs> in history i um i i can do this uh, and ataria stretches out his hand over uh, the like makeshift board that Hephaestus is making, and like a couple of the rocks on the ground just suddenly fly up to his hand, and he grabs mm. it without touching, them. and then he drops them back down. Oh, nice! 
I can do it with things other than rocks as well, but the rocks are the main thing around. Um, yes. I'm really not much of use in here, but get me out into the world. I know more than anyone. So. Yes, I, I, I'm also afraid that another than uh, our, our rock lion friend, I am I'm quite useless in this spit in this cell, especially without most of my personal belongings. Um. Mm. Whoa. Yeah. This is probably pretty important for everyone else to get a good visual of what's going on here. Um. How put to <clears throat> how put together are you right now, if you know what I mean? <clears throat> I'm thinking. <laughs> Remember, what? all of your earthly possessions were taken at the front gate. Feel free to veto this if you want. I feel like Bo could have at least schmoozed her way into like keeping her gloves on. Okay. Would it be unreasonable to say she should have? She would have been able to schmooze her way into keeping her coin purse. Uh, yeah, you know, you don't have a coin purse. You do have. Okay. You have gloves, but you don't have your coin purse. Then she has her gloves on. She has her dress. She seems to have all of her at least. She seems to at least have clothing. Okay. The things she would have walked in with. Yeah. But other than that, there is. Gotcha. She she seemingly would have nothing else. Okay. Mm. What's going on over <laughs> yeah. there? Just checking. Suspicious. What's going on over there? <laughs> I I feel like it's important to note that with the exception of uh, mine and Nathan's characters who like know each other beforehand, we did not know who each no, other was no. playing before this. So we are I just as in the dark. Well, everyone with Mike and Panda. That was yeah, yes, we have much. seen art, and now that's I it. get to be secretive. <laughs> yeah. Um, question uh, was yeah. Gigi able to use any of her economic old, old, old money pull to keep her necklace, her locket. You get, don't, correct me if I'm wrong here. Yeah. You showed up in port, got off your boat, and got arrested, right? I think, but at least my name knows I, I'm associated with so much fucking money. Right. Yeah, you're associated with a shit ton of money, but also people are thieves mm -hmm. here. So if you're wearing, is it a fancy necklace? Like, what's your necklace look like? I think it looks it looks unassuming because I'm an adventurer. Mm-hmm. Ah. What okay. is it made out of? Okay. I think what the fuck do you have on a boat? Like a rope and Okay. So it's like handmade. I guess like Yeah, it's like handmade. I spent okay. a lot of time. In that making case, it. yeah, sure. Yeah, you still have your necklace. It's made of okay. boat. Perfect. Okay. Um Okay, then I'm just like I have also been tr very well trained in the art of close combat fighting. Like the adventurers. Ha <laughs> ha! Excellent, excellent. Um, the gods have guns, though. That's not close combat. I hate to bring yes. up. <laughs> well, in the adventuring books, everyone had swords, and I didn't realize the land had changed so much. But swords are still cool. I have a sword, usually. Not now. I usually have a sword and a gun. Well, yes, you see, well, what those. happened in history was after the dune, swords became quiet and practical because just the materials were so expensive to make, and we went about a few centuries, but, and he's just going to ramble on and <laughs> on about yeah. the, the history of weaponry and how the dune affected... Yeah. Uh, and I, you know, and nobody stops him. Ten minutes later, and then someone created the blunderbust. <laughs> and how much of this news has Atari has learned to tune him out? I'm not stopping. The yeah. sea. Uh, how much news has this is like old history, not news, right? Is what I I oh, want to yeah. know because from my understanding, mm -hmm. you're fairly isolated. Yeah, because we've been. On the water, and right. you know, this has no, been no, a no. problem for us. You, your boat, your mm. family. I'm under the impression that your character is fairly isolated in comparison to the rest of oh. ocean society. So I think we're a little bit behind. A little behind. Okay, in that mm. case, yeah, you probably have no fucking clue what he's talking mm -hmm. about. Yeah. <laughs> ah, <laughs> a little behind. Okay. Yeah. You're 200 I mean, years the... old. Your family being a little behind? Yeah, yeah, you're definitely... You have no fucking clue. Mm -hmm. Good point. Yeah. 
The blunderbuss was created by those living nautical lives as a sort of duplicate to like the land of, of revolvers. You know, just still going. going off. Mm. And <laughs> just keep going. My eyes glaze over. I'm just zoning out, waiting <laughs> for somebody make, else to uh, continue this conversation. Is... <laughs> I can make a perce- I'm looking for other things to entertain me right now, so I'll make a perception check. I will not. Actually... Tari's not dumb, but he's not paying attention to this. <laughs> I had my uh, 18. I could okay. show you great drawing. Um, 18. If That's you fine. look up in, like, to the top of the tower, if you're, like, looking over your room and up to the top of the tower, you can see that there is a total of one guy poking over in a nest with a rifle. He is the guy who is protecting all of the gates. He's essentially your monitor. Okay. They do have the guards with the rifles, like with the pistols that will come in, but mainline, like if you're trying to get out, there's like a watchdog up at the very top in like a, a sniper's nest looking down at all of you. Got it. They're not okay. focusing on you right now, but there there is somebody up there watching. And it is a guard. While we think of a plan... <laughs> Someone in chat just asked what level are the characters. Do we want we're all level ten for a note. Do we want to go around and say what class we we do are? That. I don't think we <laughs> said that. Okay. I am a paladin. Mm-hmm. Atari is a paladin. Uh level ten for all of us. Rotating around, however. Uh, oh, I Someone am a level oh, Nathan's 10, that's why. Um College of Swords Bard. Yes. Sword Bard. Nathan is muted. He's My... saying things. Uh, I am a ranger, a hunter ranger. Oh, I am also a ranger. What type of ranger am I? Hold on, I need a double. Right. I am a. Hey, no, hey, fucking, I'm about to say what I am. All right, I am a gloom stalker ranger, mm. multi-classing with uh, a rogue. Oh shit! <laughs> I was nope. not expecting the history. Mm. For- I think I actually knew that and just <laughs> forgot, but I was not expecting Ranger Rogue from the historian. Hey, okay. I'm, I have a wild past. You know, I'm old now. But, <laughs> but I wasn't all this old. So I'm, I'm technically the older than now. <laughs> I mean, I am, but... <laughs> yeah. I'm old and a Are... lame historian now, but I still know things. <laughs> um, all right. So I'm the most spellcasty character here. Interesting. Um, speaking of which, uh, yes. Panda, I know this is a limited magic mm-hmm. setting. Would this prison have anything in place to stop spellcasters from casting spells? Purely offensive spells, yes. And, like, polymorph and, like, shit you can use to, like, open up gates and shit. Um, right. Anything that would, like, blow a hole yeah. in the wall is As you walked be... in, like, it's, like, salt circled around the outside of the prison when you come in. Right, right, right. right. Okay. Um, so it's a, sh- a shield for high-level magics, but yeah, not like, a total Yeah, if you lockdown. wanted to fucking, you. like, oh, okay. I'm gonna... Th- they kind I did of, my hand yeah, thing. Yeah, you can yeah. do the hand thing, it, and essentially... I, <laughs> yeah, make a quick perception check for me about your cell. All right. I will be doing this. Huh. 17. Wow. Um, I got a. You said perception. perception. Oh, why is it good? Oh, uh, I missed my plus twelve. <laughs> uh, I got a. Three. I. I just got a twelve perception. Okay. 13. Fourteen. <laughs> okay. Seventeen. Um, Otaria, you probably also realize this. You've been here for three weeks. Um, they don't. They don't hand out food here, and there's also, if you look around. You're in a stone box with a cage in front of it. There's nothing else in there but you. There's nothing else in there but you and your clothes. Hey. And they don't come by and hand you food. So, like, the magic system in this place is they're kind of relying on the fact that you know how to basically just make bread. Otherwise, you're kind of fucked. Right. Okay. Right, this is right, also right, probably right, a great right. For thing sure, to for point sure. Out. Um, Give me, give me a history check as well. Let's go. I'm, I'm good, good at, at that. that as well. I'm, all right. Eight. Ooh. I got ten intelligence. 
average-minded man. Uh, Twenty-four. I got, I got a fourteen. What do I have for his? <laughs> I got a nine. Okay. Um, twenty-four. Nathan, I don't know if if uh, Hyphestes would tell everybody this, but the prison that you're in is where they send you to disappear. You're at the end of the world. This is <laughs> this is the deepest hole of the deepest shithole of the world. They will they they put you here when they're like we don't want to deal with you. So if you die, right, right, you right, die. Right, right. That's kind of how it is. So you're you're in the worst part of the worst part of the worst part of the world. Yeah, I'm not. Got it. I'm not gonna <laughs> share that. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's probably wise. I'm not gonna share that exactly. Um, I'll just say, um, well, uh, what is this prison called again? It had a name on the map. Uh, it's just called Kingdom uh, Prison. Kingdom yeah. Prison. Okay. Well, if there's one thing I know about Kingdom Prison is that uh, while it's true they don't take very good care of you, that also means that there aren't lots of rotations of people bringing food and all these sorts of things. They have the guards up there with their scary rifles, but if we can get past them, well, the world is our oyster. That's only one step, but it's a very big step. Anything you want to do is one step. In this case, step one, escape the prison. <laughs> very good. Oh, that's, that'd be a good episode title. <laughs> step <laughs> one, escape the prison. <laughs> Everything else is in the gray. It doesn't really matter. Plans change anyways. Escape the prison. Escape the prison. Well, we, we have a new factor. We have a new factor. I think that needs to be our, our source of hope yeah. in Miss Gigi here. Gigi, do you, do you have any spells you can cast? Or any tricks up your sleeve? Oh, quite a few, as always. As a prepared Ooh. adventurer, Care to share? I have quite a few spells, of course. Offensive-wise, um, I was never really good at offensive magic, but I can talk to animals. And befriend them. Oh, delightful! I can talk to animals, but they—they they don't really much like to be my friend. Um, I... I can't talk to animals, but I am most certainly a friend of most. <laughs> Some people call me an animal, and I find that rather <laughs> offensive. It's tr- how dare they? And they shall be slain as soon as we get you your rightful throne, sir. Um, uh, excited as ever. Can you tell me? You you can choose to not disclose this information, but um, how for how long has Otaria been trying to break out of here? Is has Otaria been trying to break out of here? Um, Otaria is a very optimistic man. Yeah, Otaria is not a stupid man. He does not have the intelligence necessary <laughs> to do this. He probably he's probably been like you know I said he yeah. was basically taking a nap mm-hmm. when when Gigi walked in like. Most of Atari's thought process over the past month has been, like, just thinking of plans for about two minutes and then thinking, no, that won't work, just on loop over and over and over. So he wants to. He's not the guy to do it. (laughs) He's the guy to do a lot of things. Escaping a prison is probably not one of them. Um, Bo, have you tried breaking out at all, or are you just content with the fact that you're here? I don't think I've tried breaking out yet because there are these two other guys also a uh, fun out of character fact for some reason i thought we were doing level five characters so i leveled myself up really quickly <laughs> you, you were so used to being below level by your own choice in the last campaign that it just carried i don't over. know why the number five in my head was in my head it was just there okay <laughs> it was just there for some Incredible. reason Point being... mike quickly levels five times specking for prison <laughs> that is so funny <laughs> On the fly. No, I didn't do shit. The, the The difference is that I was a level 5 ranger, and now I'm level 10, at which point I get hide in plain sight. So I was gonna... Yeah. Are there what we would qualify as naturally occurring materials for me to be able to cl- camouflage myself? Um, it's a lot of stone. A lot of That's stone. That's naturally occurring. I... Yeah. It is naturally occurring. Moss. Like, this is I very obviously have... an old castle. Mm is the way I would put it. 
Um, so people don't come by. There's not like guards making patrols. No, there's there? like there's like maybe in in your line of sight, like what you have seen. There's like ten yeah. guys out front who like ushered you in. There's a sniper, and you have no idea of anybody else. But honestly, they're kind of just there to make sure you don't leave. They don't walk around. Right. They don't so, like do checks. They're, they're not like doing welfare mm-hmm. checks, getting dead bodies. Like how tight knit are they? Like, do they know who's in what cell and like who should be where? Or is it just like throw them in one of the boxes? Throw them in one fucking... of the boxes and then once a month we'll come by and if the body hasn't been eaten, we'll try and get it out of there. That's got about it, that's it, about the it. extent okay. of, of giving a shit. Like this is again a pit that they throw people in. Yeah, because mm, I do have rope trick, which could. <laughs> and you know, Nathan, I was like, which could... Panda, you're so lucky I took pity on you. I did not, I did not well, choose okay, rope I'll say trick, because I was like, I'm not going to do that to Panda. I don't want to use it necessarily, but it came with Gloomstalker Ranger. I didn't pick it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it just came with the class. It Really? It's just a feature? Well, hey. It... And it was explicitly confirmed yeah. a few minutes ago that Gigi's That's necklace true. is made of rope. We yeah. have a rope. But all that we it have does, a rope. all that it can do is hide us for an hour. And if nobody's making checks to see that it's empty, there's yeah. nothing to like. I don't think it'll help us. Uh, uh, I have a wild. I haven't. I have a wildly stupid idea. Can you read me the exact description of? Well, Atari wouldn't know this. He's not smart enough. I'm. <laughs> I'm so not used to being a D, not being a DM. I gotta I, be like I can't medicate. Um, God. I have, okay. I, I have a pitch in character. Mm. Go ahead. Because when we were discussing our abilities earlier, I did uh, overlook one useful skill of mine: the art of decoration and makeup artistry. You see. I think that with my know-how, I can blend myself in with this here cell. Meaning that we could get a guard in here and trick them into thinking I have already escaped. Now, here's a tricky part because it requires social manipulation. And I am not sure of the denizens of this cell's experience with that or your app. good at that! I do not believe you. <laughs> I don't I believe you. I can Mike? I can tell a good fib Mike. if you if you get a guard in here they've played Parcheesi with me before. I, I, Mike, I have to ask. I, I, I am a king of the people. I am used to dealing with the people. This is my this is my area. Trust me. Fighting and this. Mike, are you trying to Peter Malark your way out of here? Is that is that the game? Are you Hunger Games in your way out of the cell? No, I don't think he ever had a plan as like <laughs> stupid um, as this, but a little okay. bit. Yes, I just want to confirm. Yeah. Uh... By the way, I I am going to just retroactively tell myself that I do not have rope okay. trick. I won't do that to Panda as a first time. <laughs> I don't even yeah. know what that is. Okay. So, um, I but I do have. <laughs> I do have. It's the shit we'll that lets Bolo cheat show. during business venture and win the fucking whole tournament by just hiding in, a, in an hole. interdimensional space. Oh, is that yeah. rope trick? Um, yeah. Oh, that's rope trick. Yeah. I saw no, it and I was I, like, if, I'm not going to do that. Bro, if you fucking told me that that was one of your spells, I'd have been like, nah, you're not doing that. That's banned from every d d game I ever play ever again. <laughs> I'm everything. not letting that ever. Yeah. <laughs> I will send you... After this for... session, I'll send you a full spell list All so right, you can cool. properly prepare mm-hmm. for things. But I do have, um, sorry, I well, I, I do have quite some sneaky spells uh, for times of need that I learned back in my day. Um, I, I have one handy one called Pass Without Trace if we do want to sneak out of here. And also I can um, disguise myself fairly well, I'd say. I too can do so. Excellent. That's so great for all of you. <laughs> what if Says we disguise? Do... <laughs> um, do the guards here have uniforms? Um, it's very obviously cobbled together armor from inside of the the tower. But yes, right. Hmm. It's not like they they don't all look the same, but they're wearing like old rusted armor that was obviously in the tower when they when they moved in. Um, I, I say, yes, well, the, the true king of, is it Asales? 
Asales. The true king of Asales is quite good with people. Um, I will happily, I can happily assist in the matter if we can just get someone in here. I, I, I'm begging your pardon. The the the, the true king of Asales. Oh yes. I, it, is the true king of Asales with us in the room right now? <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't like you very much, Bo. He's quite hard to miss. Uh, he's... I've been nothing but polite, and you're just antagonistic after antagonistic moment. Ugh. Well, if we can corner Listen, a guard we... here, um, if we, I think, um, possibly Bo, you seem like you'd be quite good at this. If we can just restrain him, um, I can make it so no one can hear his screams. Oh, that's quite nice. I also might be able to restrain him with oh, my yes, ability. Oh, yes, I forgot you were course. so tall. <laughs> His great <laughs> yes. strength. Uh, oh, I don't even have to do that. I can use the power of the Risen Falcon King. Yes. It's a whole thing. Don't worry about it. Um, does anybody have any illusionary magic? Um, well, no. Uh, but I can. People typically like me for a bit, and then they suddenly don't. I don't really know what that's about, but I can make friends pretty easily. Oh, that seems quite useful. Well, the the main problem is how do we get the guard here? Because frankly, they do not give a rat's ass about who who comes and goes unless they're going in the way of them. So back to the original plan. Let's regroup it. So. I will disguise myself to make it appear as if I have gone without a trace. I will be in the room, but disguised to look like that wall. You will tell the guards that someone has escaped. We cause a little tizzy, and in said tizzy, we make our escape, whether through social substitute making friends, or whatever the lion man will do. Yes? <laughs> He will, he will boast us with his great charisma and leadership skills. Sure. Uh, yeah. Question for Panda. Do, I, I think I probably know the answer to this, but this is something that I just need to check. None of the guards no. give a shit about me, right? Like, give us my whole mythos. No, no one cares about that. <laughs> I didn't think so. If there was, like, one guard that no, cared, all right, I just guards, wanted to be sure that that wasn't an opportunity like, I was missing. There's, like, 50 people here who all claim to be the rightful king of this place. They're, like, they they see that it's a castle, and they're, like, I am Losers. the king. And the the fact that you're a seven-foot-tall lion. Oh, man, of the castle. Okay. That doesn't, that doesn't change anything. They're, like, uh-huh, yeah, so am I, bud. And they put you back in a cell. Um, Got it. Noted. Do do they? Uh, they probably don't. All of our stuff is probably done for, isn't it? They don't. They probably don't keep they it do. around. Or do they? Maybe they do, and they try they to do. sell it. They keep it or down something. In a, uh... Okay. Would you know that? I don't I, know. Would I? Now that I think about it. Um, <laughs> you see them take it, and you don't hear about it being destroyed. And hmm. since this is a tower, and you saw like. For everybody to be aware, this is a tower on the edge of a cliff, like at the edge yeah. of a desert. So, and then it's just ocean, ocean on one side and desert on the other. You would see if there's a giant bonfire of people's shit, and there wasn't. <laughs> there, <laughs> there is not a giant bonfire it, full of stuff outside, and there's no smoke coming out of um, the tower. So, you you can you can presume that they uh, that they don't destroy it or sell it mostly because there's also nobody buying anything out here. Right, that's true. Um, uh, go ahead. Ataria Matt. thinks for a moment uh, because Matt, the player who is so not used to playing, has just realized something that I might be able to do here. Ataria, kind of do you think all oh, potentially? Uh, the guards might need to come in if they had to confiscate something from one of us. Because they could just try to shoot us. That would be bad. But if they had to confiscate something, do you, do you think that could work as an avenue of... Because I can make a sword out of holy Ooh. energy. Hmm. I might have maybe should have mentioned that before now. That would be quite useful, <laughs> uh, my lord. Um, we, well, I... I, it's, I, it's hard. I can I, only do it. A, a, it takes a lot of power, but worry, I can do it. I do not that you are not to say that you are not strong and brave, but I do worry you for not. your safety. Because if they do shoot, they'd be shooting the king. 
And then if the king dies, there is no king. I would much prefer putting a bow at the forefront <laughs> of all this. <laughs> I'd much rather sacrifice oh, the this is such a... <laughs> If it is any consolation to you, sir, I would also be quite a bit more comfortable taking point myself. <laughs> uh, and I'll say Bo has already gotten started uh, okay. because the description of Hide in Plain Sight uh, is you spend a minute, yes, you spend one minute crafting camouflage for yourself from naturally occurring materials. Once you wear camouflage, you can hide by pressing yourself up against a solid surface to gain a plus 10 bonus to stealth checks as long as you remain there without moving or taking action. I love the visual. Okay, here's an interesting. Visual of Bo against a stone wall just to get materials <laughs> to be able to disguise herself. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can cast um how many people can I cast this on? Each creature you choose within thirty feet. Is that all it is for Pass Without a Trace? It is. Cause That's it. Yeah, it's a good I one. could cast Pass Without a Trace with all of us. Mike, you would get the plus ten from your thing and another plus ten from Pass Without a Trace. Auto twenty. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so I'll get a plus twenty to just <laughs> fucking uh, they would never look how mean we're being to the first time DM. Question. Look how mean. No, we're that would being be great. I want that. That's hilarious. <laughs> Question: How strict yeah. are we about material components? How do you mean? Like that most so. spells have verbal, yeah. semantic, and material components. So, like you need, uh, like okay. I don't. I don't yeah. get. Hey, unless fuck it's material, like, I need material some, components. Like, crazy. Unless it's like what yeah, uh, yeah. what Mike's doing right now, where it's like I need something in the world for this to be able to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as it's. I, I don't give a shit. I mean, it's like, oh, you need standard. this, these five things to be able to cast that. Yeah. I don't care. You need a, sh yeah. a string yeah. and a oh, ruby okay. from the. <laughs> All right. Um, I've been in that case. <laughs> no, um, I'll save the joke for later. Never mind. Continue. <laughs> in that case, yes. <laughs> if we need to make a quick escape, I can use. I've practiced magic, but not like the offensive magic, because I have my fists for that. Um, but I've learned how to um, make sure, make it sure that no one can like catch me so we'll have freedom of movement if i just use all of my spell slots for it <laughs> that's fine well i i say Bo here can get all done up uh i can cast pass without trace on all of us and as long as i don't get hit we can use that for our entire escape assuming we're out in under an hour it's a little bit strenuous on my old mind yes well under the and if we need to run i'll how how tall are you, Hephaestus or five? Not Hephaestus, whatever. Hephaestus. Nathan. Hephaestus, my lord. Hephaestus. How tall are you? Um, I think he's like, he's kind of a short fella. Uh, I'd say like five Just, four. Like, grab you and run if we need to without you breaking concentration. Are you like literally like a large? Creature? I think so. I'm huge. I'm like seven eight feet. I'm sorry. I'm What's big. Your... If you have strength, yeah, I'm like I'm not heavy. <laughs> I can tr if. I if like it I'm comes like to a pinch, I can try to grab pounds. you and run. <laughs> I imagine we probably have pulled that before. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, just backpack mode. I just... <laughs> Not that I've endeared myself to you, but I'm probably shorter than that as well. If we need, <laughs> <Crab> <laughs> if we need a ride to your service or something. <laughs> Throw one over each shoulder. Let's go. This is so funny. I'll have like barely any spell slots after this. We'll take a nap after we get out of prison. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, dear. Um, cool. So, uh, Mike's doing his thing. I'm going to cast Pass Without a Trace. So, the exact wording is um, masking you and your companions from detection for the duration, up to one hour. Each creature you choose within 30 feet has a plus 10 bonus to dexterity stealth checks and can't be tracked except by magical means. Um, a creature that receives this bonus leaves behind no tracks or traces of its passage as well. So like no footprints. Okay. Um, um, and so I'll cast that. So everybody for the next hour, assuming I don't mm -hmm. break concentration has a plus 10 to stealth. All right. Oh yeah. Um, That's good. Okay. And then, I, and then, yeah. Yeah. Then I have my plus 10. Bo has essentially disappeared into the room. Like before, before Nathan casts his spell there, you probably saw like an outline at least patches where she didn't get the <laughs> stone face paint quite, but then it's just like gone. Where did she go? That's um, amazing. 
Really is I can't uh, are they here? Don't know. Um as soon as uh, this all pops off, I'm sure like are we all close enough to for me to touch you guys? It's a small room. I mean we can oh, yeah. be, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we can be in this room. <laughs> as soon as it as this pops off, I'm touching everyone, giving them freedom of movement. Freedom so what yeah, exactly does that do mechanics? Mechanics wise? wise, um you touch a willing creature for the duration the target's movement is unaffected by difficult terrain and spells and other magical effects can neither reduce the target's speed nor cause the target okay. to be paralyzed or restrained. The target can also Incredible. spend five feet of movement to automatically escape from non-magical restraints, such as manacles or a creature that has it grappled. Finally, being underwater imposes no penalties on the target's movements or attacks. And that is for Ooh, an hour. That might be helpful cool. later if we go down Pirate if Adventures, we're by the sea, yeah. yeah. It's, oh, and that lasts for one um, hour, so we got an hour. <laughs> That's why it's... Oh, I'm only doing I'm it as soon as down. shit pops off. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I have another question. Yeah. Uh, that that sniper... Yes. How high up is that sniper? The top of the tower. Very, how, roughly, very high. Okay, very, very, very far. Yeah. Out, of, out of range of things. The only just reason for, okay. you yeah. could see it is because you have lion eyes. Like you have okay, cat's fair. eyes. That's about okay. the, the reason you can okay. see them. Okay, noted. Um, but there are they within earshot? No. You gotta yell. No. Like you would have to yell at this motherfucker. That's gonna that's gonna definitely be Otaria. Yeah. <laughs> you would have to <laughs> yell and even then it would be just the <laughs> I well, I okay. have a, a roar ability. That's a Leonin thing, yeah. so I can I can do if that. For sure. I mean, if, if you, you do allow roar, it, it, I would will, also like, vibrate up the tower to them because yeah. this is also a very um, echoey tower. Yeah, I have daunting if, roar. If you allow it, I will also wait to cast Pass Without a Trace until I know someone's right, coming. It's right. a good idea. Um, but just just. Yeah, I don't want to sit for an hour, yeah, <laughs> waiting and lose it. Um, so I until I know someone's on the way, then I'll cast it and we'll do that whole shaboing boing thing. But okay, cool. Now it's just when do you want to set off the plan? Y'all seem to be ready. All right, so we yeah, yeah. Um, I Atari has no other rules in this plan other than yell really well, loud. So I'm just waiting. My lord, for I I, I think we're all ready to go. Yeah, sound Are we, long. Is as the plan to, to should I say something specific or just make a loud noise? What's, um, what's my... Uh, well, okay. yeah. This is a good thing to... Uh, first off, I would love to get my things yes. back. I don't know if they have them, but I don't... F I think they do somewhere. Um, after that, I would suggest we break for the sea. I don't think the desert would treat us very well. Um, but um, I think you, my lord, I, I believe you should just scream and maybe shout that someone's escaped all right uh i'm gonna do that then like i'm not even gonna like the second he's done talking saying go i do it for no i'm not actually using my roar ability because i can only do that once a day so i want to save that in case i need it but yeah just lion roar go okay. someone's escaped um, you see a very <laughs> very tired looking guard walk up to the cell gun in hand just <sighs> what is it this time? And he looks inside, and Bo's gone. And he looks around. He goes, "What? There are four of you in here?" Yes, yes that's sure. why I was yelling. And he looks over at the the lion, and looks back to where Bo's bunk used to be, and just goes, "You waited, didn't you?" And looks at the giant lion again. <laughs> Uh, I, that, that, even though it probably shouldn't, that catches Ataria off guard, and he, like, pauses for and goes, no, that's We haven't fed you Earth. guys in I'm ever, not and there is now a missing you, person, sir. so I'm just assuming there's a giant uh, lion in the room, and there's a missing haven't. person. I'm not, uh, you're um, already oh, in here for life, man, me. you don't need to lie. <laughs> I, I, I besties comes up. So I'll persuasion check to say I didn't need her because I didn't. Uh, <laughs> if I need to, I will. I besties comes up and goes, no, no uh, Mr. God, what has happened is, uh, I don't know exactly what systems you have in place uh -huh. in this prison, but uh, Bo has found a 
dead zone in the corner of the room and has used magic to teleport away. You should really come in and check it out. Right. He goes to <laughs> stand in, like he like leans around you, which puts him directly in front of where the door is and leans to look behind you. Uh, everybody make a perception check for me real quick. Uh, that one. That's an I am still mad that that I am playing. doing nothing but being a wall. I am paying Ooh. attention. Gotcha. Atari is still else? grumbling that he got, got accused 19. of eating somebody. You got a 19? <laughs> okay. Um, behind the guard, through the top of the tower, you see a dot that is not the sniper going uh... over the tower and getting exponentially bigger until all of a sudden the guard in front of you is fucking liquefied and the door shoots back to the back of the cell. Uh, you see a cannonball in the center of the door. The guard's gone. There is nothing left of the guard. I'm giving you half a second. Ooh, that <laughs> solves okay. a problem. Uh, yeah, uh, no, I mean, I'm booking it. Okay, like... a second cannonball comes through Land the worked. other wall and oh, blows shit. a giant fucking hole in what used to be the opposite wall from you. I turn no, around no, no, and go no, through not, that not, wall. In the, not in your room. I'm talking oh, about on the other side okay. of the tower. Got it, got it, got uh, it. Yeah, I'm, I am... I, if if necessary, see... I will grab my little buddy... <laughs> Are we able to see through that hole as to what's you happening are. outside? Uh, you see through that hole, you see a plank get put on the edge of it, but through it, you see what can be described as the biggest fucking ship you can possibly imagine. I'm talking about a the Titanic if it was operated by sails. Like, this is a small country-sized pirate ship. You see oh. a Goliath in a bandana walks up on top of the plank and goes all right we're here for metal and we're here for men you can load up or you can help us with the metal or you can fucking die it's your choice and then you see an army of pirates start to march up behind him Ooh, we gotta go. <laughs> I would. Uh, I turn to. Uh, I'm gonna turn to Hephaestus on my shoulder. But you wanted your stuff, right? I would love my I stuff. I also want my stuff. If we have time. Uh, I I turn to just the nearest pirate who's storming it. Where's the metal? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, just start ripping it off the walls, lad. And you see, there's action. There's pirates oh, oh, taking I, okay. uh, doors off of. Oh, the bars. At, like God. actually mm. taking the like, metal from okay. the building, and as soon as anyone resists, you start hearing gunfire, because their pirates are dropping anybody who says no to them. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna like kind of nod at that, and then I'm just gonna go start looking for the stuff, I the stuff like chamber. Yeah. At the bottom. If I'm also going to pluck the yeah. um shooty thingy off of the guard that is now paced on the ground. Great. Okay, that works. Okay. And just to let you know, guards are um, carrying revolvers. So you have a revolver. You don't know what a revolver incredible. is. But you have a revolver. <laughs> like a little oh, wet. I'm... As, as me and uh, uh, Otaria start running, I, I'm shouting, See, we've already initiated step one! <laughs> Escape the prison! Yeah. <laughs> uh... Also, just for the sake of not being unarmed during this, despite the fact that I am big and I have claws, as I'm running, I'm also going to cast Shadow Blade. Uh, so I summon my, my like, weird... Mm. It's not, like, shadowy looking just for flavor. It's, like, like a sort of distorted field of, of energy that in the shape of a sword. So I am armed yeah. for notes. All of you still have plus 10 to stealth, by the way. Don't, I did still cast Pass Without a Trace on everyone, so... Yeah. Um, Should I still be mind. casting freedom of movement, or do you think we all still need that? I feel like it yeah, why hurt. not? Uh -huh. uh, oh, um, you still if you've already done it, you need to stop. On... I I was a wall. I I would assume I uh, stopped the wall act once the cannonball happened. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and Momo, if that's an individual cast. You don't need to cast on me because I'm a ranger, so I basically don't worry about difficult terrain ah, anyway. Okay. 
Um, oh, I guess that's the same for me too. I mean, but if you, I'll take it. Uh, let's see. You no magical effects or otherwise can reduce your speed or par- or you cannot be paralyzed or restrained under this condition either. So, I think I think for this entire encounter, I will probably be being carried by the true king of all right. <laughs> So at least then just me and and Otaria. They're important people. Me and Otaria have uh, can have it. This cast on mm. us freedom of movement. Gotcha. All right. Perfect. So I guess whoever's coming with can come with, but what do I need to roll if anything to find um, our shit? You've been here for three weeks. I have locate object. It's fine. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I think you said three weeks to a month. Oh, okay. Well, I can find object. my stuff. So I'm, um, I'm assuming my stuff is with your stuff. Hopefully it's in the same stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that yeah like I'm also heading like to where stuff is. It's a spell. Okay. If you want it, go ahead. Ooh. Um, I... That's not scary. Is there a problem Interesting. with that? <laughs> don't think we're going to get to know I, until... Until you do. Can I do it in, the, in my cell? <laughs> yeah, sure. Like... All right, I'm going to try to cast Locate Object on my stuff. Uh, all right, it's at the very, 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 very bottom of the tower. Fun. It's um, in the basement. And how far is well, that from where we are under, at, roughly? under the ground. You saw the pirate ship and everything happening through the wall because it was a couple stories above you. Um, but mm. uh, I would say... You're about 30 stories above where your stuff is. That's far. That is pretty far. And Matt, you're not a barbarian. You can't just jump and take half damage. Well, no, I was wondering. I was like, can I, this is going to be a niche reference, but can I pull a Cade 6 and go down to the the bottom of the prison? But um, (laughs) uh, (laughs) I mean, I I have one thing that might work, and neither I nor Ataria himself (laughs) are confident enough in that (laughs) working. He thinks about it. He looks over, and then you see him just... I look over. <laughs> Why is this... I look oh. over, I'm just like, I do have Featherfall. It's not 60 feet, though. Ooh. I think we could do a couple... Go down a couple stories and then jump. Can you cast Featherfall in, like, the little window between you and the... Does that how... Is that how that works? I, mean, I don't I'm, know that spell. I'm very quick with it. It's a reaction, so it's like... It, it's like... <laughs> It's a, oh, reaction. it's a reaction. It's not even a full action. It's a reaction. It's pretty quick. Don't worry, I'll catch That's us. It's pretty quick. <laughs> I yeah, I'm. I don't have anything to stop me from. Okay, dying I, I have I a do pretty that, good so. intelligence. You. How <laughs> do I think this could possibly work? I think. Hold on. What is the? I think it would just be dependent yeah, on your timing. Funny. Like, is there a specific timing with it? Um, it just says sixty feet. Um, it's it's a duration of one minute, so sixty feet per round for a, a minute. Wait, sixty feet yes. per round. It, your a creature's rate of descent slows to sixty feet per round until the yeah. spell oh, ends. Slows if the creature two... lands before the spell ends, it takes no falling damage and can land on its feet. Oh, yeah. so then that works. Then it's not. You still take no fall damage oh, flat for the whole okay. thing. Then yeah, we'll just do that. Let's we'll jump for it. <laughs> okay. Do you do that while telling people, Wee. or do you just go for it? I just say, Otario, trust, <laughs> Otario, trust me, and I like pull. I take his arm and I like jump over the edge. Okay. I do want to mention he's you, seven you take feet his arm trying to drag. You're like the, a small elf woman. Like I don't know if that's gonna work. I'm like pulling at his fur, and I'm just like, let's <laughs> go, trust me. Uh, Adventure. Do <laughs> it. Hopefully, Bo is right behind us. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I just kind of, like, topple it's over. It's up to five falling creatures. Oh, hell. So I can get all of us. Okay. Sweet. All right, cool. Bad okay. plan. Let's do um, it. You jump Adventure. over the edge and just, you're falling past story after story, and you only get brief snippets of it as you're flying by, but, yeah, the pirates are fucking decimating this place. Just slaughtering anybody, Damn. taking everything that they possibly can. Uh, until you all land on your feet like a bad green screen effect at the very bottom of this tower. <laughs> <laughs> Just woo! Da, 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 da. <laughs> and there you go. You're at the bottom of the Incredible. tower. Incredible. Uh, 
just for the sake of flavor, uh, despite being a gigantic dude, Otari, like, there's a gust of wind right as he hits the bottom, and he just, like, descends gracefully. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on his back, like, yeah. <laughs> landing, my lord! <laughs> Okay, so we're here. That's great. Uh, you have a direction, Gigi? Oh, yes. Uh, it's uh, this way. Mm, okay, so you walk through. There's a, a door, and you are in a giant room, the biggest room here. It, it probably used to be the stables of whatever tower this is, and it is filled to the brim, to the roof, with boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes of people's shit. I'm talking, th <sighs> think Indiana Jones, the giant warehouse full of mystery items. That's what we're talking about. Wow, wow, Damn. okay. Um, I know where my stuff is, so I'm just going to quickly pitch her off. Yeah. But hers probably isn't near ours. Um, I mean, if you need I mean, help finding your stuff, I, I can, can I certainly help. Would it take, like, an investigation check? I'm not good at that, but, like, to just see if there's, like, an organizational system that I can maybe follow here, or is it just they piled um, shit on shit? You can do an investigation check, but it's an extremely low I, investigation check. How do we... F two? I don't know about All that, right, There's a lot of stuff. That's what you can know. <laughs> Oh, uh, right, never mind. I got a you 12. You got a 12? All right, that's good enough. Uh, Hephaestus, you can uh, look throughout, and you can see that it is technically ordered in arrival date. So, like, right. the newest okay. people's stuff is, like, closest to the door. Mm. Gigi, you found your box because your the door bumped into it. <laughs> like, oh, <that's>... my stuff! <laughs> <laughs> Um, are we able, can I make some kind of maybe history or insight or perception to see if I could have gauged how often prisoners show up here? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, can I, uh, insight. You, you, it's recent enough. Okay. Uh, oh, that's really good. Uh, oh, 24. Yeah. Um, this, March. since this is like the ass crack of nowhere sort of place, um, New people very rarely come. The last person before Gigi was probably Bo. Wow. Oh, um, okay. So. Oh, okay. What? So we can find stuff. Cool. With that knowledge, I would like to make an investigation check for me and Got the it. king's stuff. And I, I'll, I'll share that with everyone else. Um, yeah. Not very many people come in here. It seems to be organized by when you arrive. So check near the door. <laughs> yeah, having heard that information and know knowing how few people come in, can I check the box next to what Gigi checked for my yeah, stuff? Yeah, you can. <laughs> All your stuff is in it. Sick. <laughs> Amazing. Um, I, I mean, can we check one box down? <laughs> one. I just got a thirteen investigation for. Okay, yeah. uh, thirteen investigation. You. It's gonna take you like ten minutes, but you can find your box. It's it. It takes a while because there were a couple cool. people after you showed up, but. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the king will... My character I, ass will. I assume ours yeah, are together. It's one big box. If I'm wrong, I look for stuff. Okay, okay. Um, but I just pull out a little dagger and a short bow uh, with some arrows. And that's... that's <laughs> oh, and my satchel full of history mm. books, of course. Mm. Um, okay. Oh, my Great. books! Oh. <laughs> Great contrast in that scene, then. Uh... <laughs> Hephaestus takes out his like his his bow and arrow and his books and is done, and then Ataria reaches in and pulls out like huge super <laughs> ornate suit of armor, giant shield with a huge falcon crest on it, a sword, a blunderbuss, huge fancy helmet. He's just like pulling out all of this again, ridiculously in terms over of, the like, top. How fancy, we're talking. Stuff. We're talking like World of Warcraft <laughs> levels of insanely oh. big and thick armor. Oh yes, like. Warcraft, like, war, war, like, like Warhammer you know, 40k levels of King from 500 thing. years ago. Yes, yes, <laughs> Warhammer, Warhammer yeah. level nonsense just coming out of this box, and I'm putting it on immediately, of course. <laughs> Bo uh, is like hunched over her box, like, and you hear like some like sort of metally sounds like, 
okay, and this goes in here, and she's like faceting stuff, and oh, why would they take this out of that? Okay, yeah. I'm like sleeping, <laughs> like and, trying to see what she's doing. Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> little, pri- <laughs> little privacy. Goodness. You say um, you're from the sea? Yes. Mm. Shows in your manner, and she straightens up, and she you just see that she's holding a coin purse. Oh, yeah. oh well, uh, good. Like a small one, like a dainty. Uh, Hypestis little is... satin yes. coin purse. Yeah. Mm. Hypestis's clothes are not that different from the prison clothes. <laughs> they just fit yeah. a little better. <laughs> <laughs> and he has like a jacket that goes over top of it. Um, and that's about it. And like sandals. And that's literally it. Um, like a two. Gigi is wearing an incredibly ornate, like true historical adventuring attire that looks like it was straight out of a renaissance fair. Oh. Uh, Ataria likes her even more now. We're vibing. <laughs> We're vibing. Oh, I had a question, actually. What, Bo, what is Bo's age? Do we know? Did you, In conversation, did, did we find that out? I think 200, right? No, that's, so I remember that's it was, Gigi, yeah. right? Gigi. Oh, you said Bo. I'm sorry. I misheard you. I misheard you. Uh, did Bo give us any glimmer of how old they are, or how old do they look? Rather, if that's if we wouldn't have talked about it, I will say as a player, I'm I don't know the scale at which Mountain Dwarves age, but regardless, the character certainly not not giving any <laughs> kind of hint as to how old she is. You don't need For to sure. know. For sure. Okay. <laughs> hey. You never know. Um. Cool. I got all my shit. All right. Let's go back. Oh, God, we got to run up yep. 30 stories. Now. Yeah, I don't have a spell stories. for that. Actually, you don't need to run up 40 stories. Remember, you are underground level. <laughs> yes. I think our best bet is joining that ship, frankly. Excuse you. It seems like a good enough plan for now. <gasps> Excuse you. <laughs> I do not know what you got up to when we, before we were thrown in here, but some of us had lives and businesses to return to. Bo, 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 join the ship till we leave the prison. Then you don't have to be on the ship anymore. I I do not intend to stay on the ship, but it is our best ride out of here. I mean, this is just the beach, right? How far is it to land? This is just this is just step one of the escape plan. <laughs> Get on the ship. Step one, escape the prison. Escape step the prison. two, escape the boat. Okay. I mean... I wanted to have an adventure on the land, but, you know, one cannot choose their adventure. Their adventure chooses them. Ataria kind of just nods and goes, Yes. Gigi, this counts. I, I suppose. The adventure is choosing you. Uh, and then he just starts jogging up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> right, right after, have another way. Right after no Atari starts running, up. running up. Oh, by the way, when you fell down, you landed like maybe two inches from that body that fell before. Um, and when you opened back up ah. the door, there was like 20 more. Oh. They've been throwing Great. corpses over the edge uh, since they broke in. They're really cleaning ah. the house. Oh. Ah. <sighs> well. Anyway, I'm, I'm going. I'll go along with this cockamamie <laughs> scheme, but I am not walking up there by myself. Um, Panda, if I make a call right now, are the pirates going to give a shit if my friend comes yes. in? They are going to give a shit. The prisoners who aren't doing anything, man. Fair <laughs> enough. Okay, then I will walk myself. God damn. What a wildly suspicious Call thing to say, friend. Mike. Call in my friend. Oh, I'm just Wait. talking to myself. It's nothing you need to worry about. Uh, considering my options. Mm. All right then. Are you are you going up just to join the pirates as they're as they're doing their shit? I would recommend to the king of uh, Asalees to grab a metal door on the way. I will. I will attempt to grab a metal door on the way, or just honestly, probably. I'm just gonna. If there's like metal bars that are already on the ground for like cannonballs, I'm just gonna grab those. Like, I'm not gonna go to the trouble of ripping no, one. We're out also right. in like right. but, but, <laughs> so we can probably take right next other to people's all the stuff. metal stuff. We, that's a that's good true. point. Let's we grab are some stuff. Yeah. Stuff. You could <laughs> probably just grab a treasure chest. Like. <laughs> yeah. Ataria <laughs> jogs up, realizes this, and then just turns and starts jogging Matt, back I'm down. I'm so sorry. I'm grab about to say the second time he's done this. This is going to curse the chat forever. All I can imagine is, like, 
Freddy from Security Breach running around when I think of your character. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't mind that. I don't mind that as much <laughs> that's as you think. The visual. I don't mind the visual. That as much I as think, you think. Is, is your character. That's fine. <laughs> and running back into the room. <laughs> yeah, that's not a curse. That's that's fine. Incredible. <laughs> All right, you got your uh, stuff. Uh, I, I mean, mm-hmm. once this idea is proposed i'm just gonna literally pick just the nearest box and try to rip it open and see what's in there the first box shit i don't have a i don't have a random i mean Uh, you you open up the you open the box and this is obviously like a bounty hunter it it's got a cowboy hat it's got two guns right next to it um there there's just vague vague cowboy shit in there oh sick Good. It, are the boxes metal the or the boxes, boxes are wooden? I'm assuming. However, they do operate like bags of holding. So if you open up one that had too much stuff shoved into it, it'll be ah. infinitely deep. Nice. That's Incredible. how well my armor got in there, I guess. Mm. Uh, okay. I mean, yeah. We just yeah. we just gotta grab metal. I'm overthinking this. Yeah. Just grab some. Mm-hmm. Grab some. I crap am and grabbing grab. another I, I, one of these <laughs> revolvers. Is that how? What what, what did you sure, call these things? <laughs> that works. Yes, yes, sweetie. That revolvers. there is a revolver. It's called a gun. <laughs> created it, it, a couple centuries ago. <laughs> uh, a goon. Gotcha. Oh, right, it hey, oh that. goodness. Oh dear. Well, I forgot. Chad well, pointed then. out to me that I did say I was going to wear this through the whole thing. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Continuing on. Oh, one hour in, we're already breaking um, promises. So you have gotten just stuff. You have stuff that you are carrying out, right? All right. Um, you you run up and you come in contact with some of the pirates as they are just fucking slaughtering the biggest room of prisoners that you can find. Obviously, they did not want to join. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, what are you doing? There's like five pirates. Two of them are at the front uh, and like three are like standing behind them trying to get the metal out of the wall. Now, now that I am close to him and have a better look, would I recognize any of these pirates from uh, various dealings and such? Mm. That's a, a valid question. I guess I should ask the same. You, they, they're all just kind of dudes. There's not a ton. You, okay. you, these are these are randos. These aren't really anybody that you guys would know. Um, Otaria, you don't. Mm-hmm. Even if you two did meet them, you wouldn't know. Okay, gotcha. Oh, I, and. We didn't know the Goliath at the beginning, um, surely. Would, no. would okay. I with my that, with my history? With your history? Okay. Would I've read about? Uh, no, because again, these are randos. Like you might know the okay. ship, but so it's not it's not some whoever came in at first is not like some. No, he's just a brute. Person. Yeah, that was just a brute that just okay. broke down the door and, and decided to start going. Got you it. don't gotcha. you don't know any of okay. these people personally, Hyphestes and Otaria. You'd probably know the but actually. Otaria, Hyphestes, and Bo would probably all know the boat. They would know who's attacking, but they would not, uh, they wouldn't know the people because, again, this boat's like the mm. size of a small city. For sure. Sure, yeah. What's, do we need a history check for details, or is, do we not see it well enough to um, know yet? There's only one boat that's really that big. Uh, so, yeah, you could, you'd probably know what boat this is. Uh, this is infamous warship uh i i gave it the name but i don't actually know how to pronounce it it's a it's oh <laughs> it's a it's, vibe it's vibe camargue i think it's a type of horse it's called the crimson camargue uh giant crimson fuck camargue. off warship the, the biggest one you've ever seen they're infamous pirates this is usually their gimmick they show up join or die or just help right. out and is that is that the one that was so big it was literally on the oh, map yeah. <laughs> okay do they oh good lord got it do they have a stance on they me? have a stance on you um no i'm gonna or, assume you know, from my general group. vibe okay. of otaria's willingness to get into fights you don't fuck with this boat you you see the ship that's big enough to be literally mapped out onto maps and you don't decide to go for it i'll i'll deal with that once my kingdom um, has been restored. i also have a, I, I have an interesting yes. question because i 
me and Matt actually didn't talk for how tight to the hip we are in game. We haven't talked that much. <laughs> yeah, yeah we did a game. little bit, but not as much as maybe we should. Not as much as maybe we should, which we definitely will after this. I mean, you can text me. Um, stuff. I probably will text you what I'm about to ask right. Panda if he greenlights it. How much of the plan to claim the throne have I ran through with with Otaria? Do you think? If Panda Green lights it, I, I yeah. can answer um, that as well. Like, would he know the basic steps of what we need to do for yes. him to claim the he throne? Would steps. He would know what you guys okay. need to do. Matt, I'm going to text you. Yeah, we'll 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 yeah. talk in the background here. We all know step one, escape prison. <laughs> step one. Step two is to get step the boat. Step one, claim the throne. Yeah. <laughs> um, cool. So, you see the, the big fuck off boat. Three out of the four of you know what this boat means. Um... Now you have the ship. Oh. What are you doing? Uh, currently, I'm okay. texting Nathan, so I will leave. Oh, and you, you, you I will leave to the to, other people to decide. Well, well I gotta, I, I Bo, it. you don't suppose your friend could fly us out of here? Oh, no, 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 no. It's no kind of friend like that. And truth be told, now that I'm getting a look at who is... Um, at who is... Did it, inconvenience in us i don't think it would be a very good idea to call my friend for my friend's safety so um you know how downstairs to had all this bluster and blister about how out of choice with this plan i don't believe we do this is a very infamous gang mm -hmm. of pirates so i don't think we have any other option other than to cooperate interesting interesting and if i may have an additional sidebar in this mm -hmm. moment Wherever you strap yourself, strap yourself to land. These storybook characters, I don't think they will get you through this rough and tumble real-ass world of pirates and crime. Hmm? You learn from adventuring from books, yes? Yes. The history books. Mm. Whatever you know is not enough to know. You gotta read your life from this point on like a book. That is your information. So what you're saying is I'm about to become a very famous adventurer that they're going to write stories about. Oh, God. I will certainly say you're an optimist. Excuse me! <laughs> uh, and she flags down the fire. Okay, uh, <laughs> one rips the side of the door out of the wall and... <laughs> yeah! Oh, I just managed it with my dainty little arms, but I do believe, believe we have acquired some metal for your services. <laughs> Let me see. Bo holds out uh, probably a rifle she okay. nicked. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, we could use that on board the ship. Start marching it down that way. And you see that big, that big wooden plank that everybody's walking on? And you see a... Uh, just a sea of people walking down this this plank towards where the boat is on the horizon. I will join the happy crowd. Thank you so much. All right, then turns back around and <laughs> kicks down the prisoner that was grabbing at his leg <laughs> and just turns away from you. Yes, I will just follow her with this box of stuff as well. What's in the box? Uh, um, I just assumed it has like armor in it, like yeah. metal Pops armor. Box. Yeah, it's just it's just random knickknacks. It's got a couple pieces yeah. of, of metal in there. It's like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it could be better, but all right, all right, yep, yeah, that way. <laughs> Send you on your merry way. Uh, <laughs> Otari and Hephaestus are t posing in the corner. <laughs> just <laughs> yeah, we're, we're I'm uh. I'm just on his I'm, back. I'm here for the yeah, ride. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm carrying him up the stairs. I'm going slower than everyone else. We'll say that. We'll say that I'm making up the All forty right. flights of stairs. Had to get. Also, I hate to bring this up. Apparently, my audio is echoing. I don't know why, Chad. If you're hearing that, I'm very sorry. Uh, I'm trying to see if that's anything I can do on my end, but new system. End. Yeah, I have no idea why it's happening, but um, I'm gonna poke at my settings and see what I can do. Uh, anyway. Uh, I can maybe just, maybe if I close this out, that'll do something. Regardless. Uh, anyway, so Nathan just responded to me. I did. 
Um, yes. Yeah, I mean, I'm just boisting up the people around us, like, ah, yeah. yes, yeah, yeah. Just, nah, yes. <laughs> Atari's plan. <laughs> Atari's plan is what he said earlier, which that being, get on the ship, get out of the prison, figure out the rest yeah, yeah. later. So. That's I'm I'm you know I'm waiting for the rest of the group in the in the cell because I don't want to like leave them behind. But I'm also not starting any conversations. Going. I'm just okay going yeah with okay. my buddy. So you're all marching up towards this plank. I, unless anything interesting, you guys want to start a fight or something on the thirty steps of stairs that you guys got to come up. Um, no, nah. going no. up, you reach the plank and. Start walking out. There is way too many people to actually be able to go onto this boat. You can tell a lot of people are trying to, like, just go and then leave. Um, walking out okay. onto the plank, you see in front of you infinite ocean. Because you are on the side of a cliff. So, infinite yes. ocean in front of you. And a giant port that is the edge of this prison. However, the port doesn't have ships coming in and out of it. It's just the seized boats that people came in. So you can see all of the variety of ships as you're walking past them. And uh, as you're walking past, you see a couple of people try and duck away to go towards the ships to like sneak out um, and immediately get shot by one of the pirates. You are either go. You can't you Jeez. can't just dip. Like, if you try and run or you try and make a break for one of the ships and you get caught, you're going to die and they're going to kill you. But you can see everybody marching towards okay. the end of this dock where, again, this blood red ginormous ship is. Um, Hyphestes will whisper into uh, Otaria's ear as we're sort of making our way up. And he goes, remember those scrolls I keep babbling about? I, well, I, yes, yes, the scrolls. I, are, I believe the scrolls relevant. If, if, I, if my memory, I'm looking through books on his back. <laughs> gotcha. I, it says here um, that uh, basically I have good reason to believe that one of them is on the Karmagoo. So I say we play the... Why would it be there? I don't know. I wasn't there when it was written. It's just how it is. <laughs> we should at least check it out if you want to claim the throne. Okay, we'll we'll go on the, the boat then and take... Is it just... Does the book say, like, where on the boat it's stored? Is that something that, is, that the historians wrote down? Unfortunately not. It used to be... I think it used to be kept you with someone of high importance, but uh, they'd probably be long dead by now. Okay, well, it, it's a better lead than nothing, and we'll be not in the prison, and that is certainly progress to the boat it is. To How boat. close are they for us? To the Do boat. we hear any of this, or is this just like a whispered conversation? That's a yeah, whispered okay, conversation, yeah, I not. think. Mm -hmm. Or at least Atari's whispered. I don't, I don't okay. think you guys hear that. Whispered. Um, <laughs> all of the people going towards the boat with metal um roll me a perception check as you get closer i will say my past perception is a 19 Ooh. <laughs> oh, 24 uh just a 15 uh, 24 <laughs> that's that a 20 scroll, i'm looking for that scroll. that was a 27 <laughs> that was 27 no! okay 27 um, gg's very very nervy seeing as this is her first adventure and everything. Uh, and Otari is like, he's looking. Um, you can see, it's pretty far back, but you can see there's another plank on the very back of the ship. And everyone is funneling into the ship. And there's way too many people to be able to store on this ship. Hmm. You see what a lot of fish I... coming in with one or two pieces of metal and they go into the ship and you don't really see anything happening on the other plank because it's so far away. But you can see that there is another thing that's definitely not a cannon on the other side of the ship. Okay, do I have anything that would let... And that's let what I get on a 27 perception? Let me find yeah. out what that is. It's a it's big cute. ship, I guess. 
It is big and far There's away. There's another and... thing, not a cannon. Are they just having people come in, unload their stuff, and send them over the edge? You don't know. Uh, I think this might walk be... Walk the plank, as it were. I think this might be metal and people-powered, if you get my drift. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, do I... Does anyone... Do I, wanna, like, uh, actually, some... Give me Do give I know anything about check. pirate Give me a history practices? check. Actually, everyone but yeah. Gigi, give me a history check, because I don't think <laughs> Gigi would know this. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's everyone's pretty. just more worldly than you, Gigi. <laughs> uh, I got right. eight again. Uh, on history check. I got another got 24. 24. That, I got a 15. Okay, it works for both of you. Um, Metal is the most valuable resource in this entire world. By far. Like, the metal, mm-hmm. any kind of metal, any smeltable metal is the most valuable resource because after mines got fucking buried in the dune like 500 years ago, you can't get any more. And guns are the most useful weapon in the in this entire world. So yeah. they're taking metal because metal's valuable, not because the ship is run by it. They're basically stealing the loot. That is kind of what they're doing here. Mm-hmm. I am wearing yes, big you metal are. armor. That you very right. confidently that's marched up to gonna... this pirate ship with. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it yes, is. that's in character. I'm not <laughs> saying I wish I didn't do that, but um, it's, um... I inform Otaria of this. Uh, my lord, uh, your fantastic regal armor might actually be putting you in a bit of danger. They would most likely wish to melt it down for bullets. Well, I'm not going to take it off. Uh, Fest is, it's all I'm wearing at the moment. Very valid and true. I suppose we can make do. We'll do with it when the time arises. Yep. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I fully know this is a bad idea as a player. More people are going into this ship. Like, more people have already funneled into this ship than Mm -hmm. they would reasonably keep on the ship. I... Otaria is confident in his ability to get into and then subsequently out of the situation overconfidently, maybe. What are but you gonna jump off and swim away is from the, the important Titanic? Part. <laughs> you know, I'm hoping that unless the other, unless Gigi and Bo have a plan, they are. I they mean, both we seem, all still have. I'm pass without trace. Not the smartest we do have pass without trace. We could. We do still have Pass Without Trace, so you get an additional plus 10 to your stealth. So maybe once we're on, we could just try to stay hidden in the mm. crowd. Surely they won't kill everyone. I wish. Um, also, so, uh, can I make a like a perception check for my ship? I don't know if that was commandeered as well or if they got away. Uh, yeah, they commandeered it. Go ahead. Go ahead and make a perception check. <sighs> you pulled into port. You were like, confidently walking off to go that's a a dirty 20 dirty 20 yeah you see your ship yes it's in there okay i whispered about if we can get away i see my ship oh i like the way you're thinking uh telephone you have pass it on (laughs) I, to, do you have a plan to get us down there, however? We can jump again. I will pass that nice. along. <laughs> and Bo let, turns to the other group. Okay, gang. Our friend Gigi has a plan. He's down there. Oh, and she proposes we jump to it. You may think what you will of that plan. And I th- will think of I will. I don't believe we have many alternatives. Well, as long as they don't see us jumping, uh, if we could do it stealthily, uh, it's not terrible. I, I'm also not opposed to playing the long game and staying, trying to 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 stick around until a better opportunity arises to leave. And how long are you able to play a long game, sir? Oh, uh, just till 
after this raid, I think. I think by the night, if we escaped in the evening, if we could make it till then, under the shadows of the, of the moon, we could, uh, could make our getaway, uh, if need be. I will relay uh, that. <laughs> I, I would like to remind everyone that I, while more competent in social situations than you might expect, I am also not the most subtle of people in general Bo, due to my stature. I need you to understand, Bo, if things pop off, I will die. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. I'm still up. I like bounce him up and down. Don't say that, Hephaestus. I am so dead. If anything you goes wrong, it's all right. I, you if you die, not. I can bring you back. You can oh, what? We're going to come back. To, we're going to come back to that when we're not in the middle of an active crisis. So my but... vote will always be for stealth and talking our way out of things. But I am at the will of the true king of SLEs, so whatever you uh, will decide on. Yeah. Okay, I have a question on this front of of trying to get away from this to the uh, the ship. The I guess I should say Gigi's ship. When you said that the pirates were killing people who were leaving, uh, how close were the pirates getting to the people? Like, was this a sniper thing where they're gunning down anyone leaving the pack? Or are there, like, people on the edges that we would so have to get through? the way that this, through? like, pack is being moved forward is interspersed with the crowd, there's pirates. There's pirates and there's prisoners in this group. Okay. So, really, this when they see someone drop Fuck. and start to run for a ship, they drop what they're holding, pull out their gun, and fire. However, they are carrying blunderbusses and muskets. They're single shot because that's the weapons mm. that nautical people have. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we do have really good stealth mm, right now, but I could what? also still cast Pass Without a Trace later if we did want to do like a night thing. I have another spell slot for that. If we do run into a small group, I can probably persuade and or intimidate our way out of that. But I don't know, you know, like if um, if I try to scare somebody, I don't want to get gunned down by like 50 other pirates that are in the area. But if we can get, if we want to try to sneak out, like I can us out of a smaller situation i also think at least otaria might have gleamed from our time together that hyphestes is very charismatic um mechanics wise i'll just tell you i have the actor mm -hmm. feet so i'm good at pretending to be someone yeah. i'm not but i i play it off as like oh he's just so yeah. old like literally what what reason does he have to <laughs> lie <laughs> right okay you know? yeah so he's very good at pretending to be someone he's not i also personally have disguised self but that only works for me so i could put like get piratey if i needed to but i don't know what everyone else would do um so that is an option i mean i'm piratey Ooh. enough i'm a, i am a pirate but i don't think i'm subtly piratey enough i'm notably different enough i think looking if we from played our guys. cards right but with i can who, get i can get through if we played our cards right with who i turn into i could assist we could assist each other in the, the lie that we I on. also have disguise. All right, self. cool. Ah, so Bo. I have no such disguises. I can look like a wall. <laughs> <laughs> We're all disguised as pirates, and Bo is a bush. <laughs> it's a human shaped outline um, of a cobblestone wall standing yeah. with them. I paint my hoop skirt green and then just retract <laughs> into it. I'm a bush now. <laughs> Can I make any kind of perception check for... I assume that these prisoners won't go down without a fight. Are there any dead pirates on our way up to the ship? Mm. That maybe we, we could steal clothes yeah. off there, of? There's a couple. You're like stepping over bodies as you're walking forward. Yeah. I point that out to Bo. I imagine we're somehow discussing the plans mm. in game, and I point that out to Bo. Like, they may not fit perfect, but you could always steal some piratey clothes off one of these donators. I do love charity. Uh, I suppose, I suppose, I suppose this is our best bet. Very well. Um, we shall proceed as you propose. If if there is enough, I'm actually going to try and steal some 
close, I think, because the sky stealth only lasts okay. an hour. Uh, you, there's like two, but you're also actively walking forward. So, I would say, That's you know what? True. Roll me a d20 and tell me if uh, tell me what you get, and I'll tell you how much you get off of the body. Just a flat. I, luck I actually check. have a solution, a possible solution to this. He's on my back. Can I pick up a corpse and have him get the stuff, like using <laughs> it as a platform? <laughs> And then just dump it I, I when mean, we're done? Yeah, probably. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, cool. <laughs> I'll scoop up a corpse. Notably, I'm like, this is, now I'm carrying two dudes. This is, I slow down a lot. I'm like, okay, this is a bad idea. But um, I'm like, I, undressing slogging him. through. I'm like, please, please hurry. He's got a weird <laughs> buckle <is> not... <laughs> on. Give me a moment. <laughs> okay. Okay. So once that's done, I like unceremoniously. I fully just get drop like naked corpse. and then get redressed <laughs> on your shoulder. Don't <laughs> touch me with that. I put my I put my clothes in my in my satchel. Uh, cool. I look all piratey now. You do, you do indeed. Great plan, great plan. Big mm -hmm. guy and small guy. What a pair. What a pair. <laughs> uh, as for Bo getting clothes, um, I'll. Cause I'm not on the, cause I'm not on Adari. Uh, I'll just do the. You said it was yeah. a flat luck check. What uh -huh. I roll is what I get. Okay. That is. Yes, that is a six. That's a sixteen. Uh, okay. Um. Not bad. So, I'm gonna assume that you can't get the whole hoop skirt off as you're walking. Um, but. <laughs> As you're walking, you can pick up like a vest, a belt, an eye patch, and a bandana. That so <laughs> you are still mm. Bo Peep, but now you're Bo Peep with the top half of a pirate. <laughs> Excellent. That's progress. Incredible. Progress has been made. That's what matters. Do I not look the row? <laughs> she says, still holding I her think coin it purse. Looks fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think that. Pirates are, um, I'm going to not finish my sentence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. oh, that's okay, dearie. We'll work on your poker face. I know I look stupid. Let's go. <laughs> Someone in the chat said Skylanders Swap Force, which is such a <laughs> oh neat reference. <laughs> okay. So you've been walking for a while. You make it to the ship. You walk up onto the deck. Uh... And as you walk up onto the deck, maybe five people get in after you, and you see the plank you just walked up to get on gets retracted and pulled up, and the door Ooh. closes. And you're not in the ship. You're on, like, the top of the ship. So you're, mm -hmm. you're high up after walking up in here. Yeah. Okay. How, so this ship is like a city. How high up is it from, like, the water? You know, I don't actually know proper ship portions. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, if we're going, like, if it's like a city, I imagine, like, a couple hundred feet, if yeah. I'm being honest. I mean, we just jumped 30 stories, so we'll be fine if we do jump again. <laughs> we got yeah, magic. so a nor like, mm. the Titanic was my usual basis, so I'm going to, I'm going to say you're about 300 feet up. Woo! 30 Ooh, stories, 300 feet, pretty, that's actually pretty, pretty equipped. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you, okay. you look down okay. and, like, there's a drop-off. There's a steep fucking drop-off straight into the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you hear this loud, booming fucking voice from behind you, louder than it has any right to be. Go, All right, that's enough. Let's pull away, boys. And you see the cannons turn towards the... Uh, what remains of the prison and just start lighting it up. Just blowing the shit out of Oof. it. Oof. Oof. Well, we didn't need that just, anymore. It completely <laughs> destroyed to the ground. Raised the thing asunder. As you can still hear it burning and things falling down, you can hear the pirates shooting over the side to get the people who were running away. Uh, and... From behind you, again, loud, booming voice. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Welcome to my ship. My name is Captain Viseria. You have a choice. Viseria. Oh boy. We're about, uh, I'd say two hours in. Am I close enough? Yeah, we're right. about two hours That's in. That's going to be our, yeah. Uh, yeah. our break cut. Uh, we will be back in a minute. Don't go nowhere. We got more. We got more coming. Quick tech brief. I know we promised a while ago that we weren't going to be using Skype anymore. Um, here's here's the thing. We are still using Skype. Uh, <laughs> the thing that you need to get a camera and an audio feed into a stream like this is called an NDI source. You need to have NDI sources enabled on your calling software. Not a lot of, of calling services have this. Skype is one. Microsoft Teams is one. And we thought Zoom was one. Because if you Google zoom and ndi the first thing that comes up is a little blurb on their website that says ndi sources are enabled in zoom rooms so we were going to plan on using that turns out zoom rooms is a separate service that costs about four times as much mm. so we've put that on hold we are going to look at tech increases for like october stuff and beyond once outlaws is over but since we learned this like a few days ago and zoom had misleading branding we're still on skype we're gonna fix it later anyway later <laughs> okay oh also panda i texted you over break oh great my phone is not with me hold on uh <laughs> Shit, I should probably actually go get that. God damn it. Someone, wait, wait, wait. Panda, someone asked if we can see the map again. Pull the map up on screen while you go get the thing so people can look at something. Perfect. Map. Any time. <laughs> and now will be a great reminder that, hey, because all these tech updates are so expensive, we uh, do an after show after all of our episodes that is on the God tier of our Patreon. Yes. Uh, it's a good time. It's usually like 30 to 30 minutes to an hour of extra content. But we just yeah. sometimes talk about the show. You also, know. early access. I feel like that should not yeah. be skipped as oh, well. Early access, early access right. to episodes. That. That's maybe a, a bigger thing to some people. We usually up, well, not usually, we upload the recordings of these on Wednesdays to our YouTube podcasting platforms, etc. They will not be available as VODs on Twitch. They go up uh, on other platforms on Wednesday. But if you are a subscriber to our Patreon, any tier, only one tier, I don't actually remember which tier. I was hoping someone would jump in there to answer. Uh, any tier. Any, any tier. tier. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, wait. Yes, yes. Any tier. You get um, you get early access VODs. Yes. VODs go up on Saturdays. Uh, that's correct. Is it Saturday? I think it's, isn't it Sundays? Sunday? I think it's Sundays. It's we Sunday. Have to Sorry, it's we have Sunday. to download it's and Sunday. upload it and everything. So the Patreon gets early access on Sundays. We also have some other like stuff that's up there. We have the character creation session for the Marvel Multiverse episode that we did. Uh, Nathan and I did like a mm. DM question and answer chat thing. Lots of fun stuff on yeah. the Patreon. I'll I'll link that. It's in the Dean Dorks links, which I just put in chat. Maybe we'll maybe after this is all said and said and done, we can do another DM thing. And hundred percent, we should do that. Mm. Also, uh, unrelated to everything, someone asked if I'm wearing a Meow Wolf shirt. I am wearing a Meow Wolf shirt. I went there once and I thought it was cool. I went to the one in Denver. It's not like an interesting story, but I am wearing a Meow Wolf shirt. Okay, what no, is a back. Meow Wolf? Uh, I'm surprised you don't know. What Mike, I'll tell you about what that is later. Okay. Backstage <laughs> content. <laughs> All right. We are putting right. away the map. That is not the map. That is the map. There we go. <laughs> Something. He has put away the overlay. Yes, I've done that so many times. <laughs> it, I literally have it labeled map. I don't know yeah. how I screwed that up. You have your overlay lit. Streamlabs names things horribly. You click rename on one thing and it renames something else. That's not just a you problem. Oh, that's great. Right. Anyway, that's a tangent for later. We got to get back to the show. Yeah. Also, hey, Panda fixed my lighting with a single question. <laughs> yeah. I asked the one question I should have asked several months ago, and I just now got to fix my lighting. Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> Which is hilarious because I have my degree in lighting and I never, I never, <laughs> like, mentioned that ever. We're professionals. I'm here. an environment oh, artist. That's what I have my degree in, and somehow I never mentioned that. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> and incredible. Speaking right. of degrees, how hard are we gonna get cooked by this plot twist, Panda? Let us know. What a segue. Real oh, bad. Yeah. Real bad. What, what a, segue. a segue. Anyway, you turn around. And you hear, hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my ship. My name is Captain Viscera. Viseria, and you all have 
a choice. You turn around and you see the biggest Goliath you have ever seen. This dude is 10 feet tall. He has a giant golden saber that is six feet long. And he is oh, I want that sword. wearing a bright, bright red jacket that is way more pristine than you've seen any pirate jacket before. All of his men are wearing essentially rags of pirate clothing. And this man is dressed like he just walked off of a British warship. Noted. Okay. Arms out. Bang. Your choice is very simple. You can either choose to join my crew and go around the sea that we have here, pillaging and raiding, being as free as you can be. Or you can turn around and walk off that plank right there, which I might add half of your lot have already done. And I might also like to add, you can join... And if I don't quite like you, you're going to walk anyway. We got enough beds for some of you, and it's your choice to figure out how many. I'm going to turn to the, the man on my shoulder. Hey, uh, is, is, do, you, do you think, <laughs> is this the guy that has the scroll that we need? Maybe, probably... <laughs> Uh, if if anyone is going to know about the whereabouts of the scroll or have it, it will be him. Good. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna then turn. I don't know if this guy's still talking. If he is, I'm talking over him. I'm gonna turn to the other two. Be like, so, what are you guys thinking about all uh, all of this? <laughs> well, I think in a lot of the history books, there's always some sort of training arc that happens. I feel like this might be ours. A training arc? Mm. Honey, no, we are not getting out of this with self-improvements. We are lucky if we get out of it with our lives. Now, you stick with me. I'm going to schmooze, and I will make sure we have beds to sleep tonight, and we'll figure out what we do tomorrow. All of a sudden, Bo, oh, yes, you man. see Fantastic. this giant sword go right up to your neck. Turn, just swing at the speed, <sighs> speed you haven't seen before. <laughs> right up to your neck. It seems we have our first volunteer. Hello, little lady. Good day. Volunteer for what? You get to make the first choice here today. Would you like to be a part of a pirate crew? I'm sorry that it doesn't seem we have very many things to herd here, but... I feel like you might be a part of this ship, yeah? Well, I will be honest. Pirating was never my dream as a little girl. By trade, I'm more a farmer, scavenger. I raised... Oh, and I do have this one little hobby of smithing. Oh. See, I ain't been riding your kind of bull. And she, at that point, is going to sweep her side her skirt, hit a hidden button on her artificial right leg... <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Out of it is going to pop a sawed-off shotgun that she is going to hold to his face. <laughs> but this oh. is not my first rodeo. I knew I liked <laughs> this one. <laughs> we were in a cell with her for three weeks. Did you <laughs> see that she had the... <laughs> <laughs> the training is... has started. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you don't make multi-step plans you can never predict for everything <laughs> gun in his face he immediately is like I like her I like her no matter what you got a place on this ship whether you want it or not turns to uh, everyone else completely ignores you now like completely stands up you have the gun at his face he's leaning very far down to see you and he Leans all the way back up again and turns to the three of you, obviously talking to this person beforehand. <laughs> now, which one of you would like to make the choice next? Um, yes, I am her ward, so I 
that would be accompanying her. And what might you do? Um, I was tip very good with a sword. Mm. Very good with multiple swords at once. I don't know. If... Also, I've been studying so many fighting techniques and very good with history, if you need that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, I got myself a couple of historians, so I don't really need mm -hmm. me anybody who's well read, if that's what you're offering. And two, to be perfectly honest, I don't know if you Ooh. noticed, little lady. And he snaps his fingers. And every pirate on the ship that is already a pirate pulls their gun on you at the same time. <laughs> we don't much use swords here. So you better have yeah, something I've... else. Um, if anyone were to die, I can stop that from happening. We have ourselves a mage! We don't see very many magic <laughs> users out here. Usually it's just the same couple of faces on repeat. Mm -hmm. I might have some use for you, but just know. If I, don't, if I choose one morning that I don't like you very much, it's not guaranteed. Think of it as part-time employment, miss. Okay, understood. Good on you. Understood. Taps you on the shoulder with a hand that is as big as your torso. Just... <laughs> God <laughs> leans damn. back up turns to Otaria the only person who is even relatively close to his height yeah hi hello <laughs> <laughs> and what hello. what might your thing be so am I correct in assuming Panda that this guy very much like is enjoying like everyone on the ship staring at him grandstanding over everybody. I mean, like oh, I yeah. see his his pristine. Okay, Otaria, one hundred and ten percent matching his energy. <laughs> one hundred ten percent. Like I pause for a brief second, and then I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, and so you know, drawn up to my full height, like I still have Vesti's like on my. I lift up a little higher to like show that you know I've got this dude. I'm like, well. <laughs> my story, it's uh, quite a long one at that. I won't bore you with the uh, entire details of my adventures, but I am Ataria, the Risen Falcon King, a name that I'm sure many of you, I turn to the crowd, obviously still doing the grand setting, I'm a name that I'm sure many of you might recognize from tales of adventures past. I've been long missing from this world, and I do think that you, my friend, you and I might share some heuristics, and so... I think I will throw my hand in with you for now, and I think you'll find it's quite a mighty hand indeed. And then I'm gonna, this, I'm gonna do some showmanship here. I cast gust on myself, so my mane starts billowing in the wind. I draw my sword, thrust it up to the air, and cast booming blade, not on him, just to get like the cool, fancy, glowing sword effect. You're he manning. Oh, you're he manning right? Yeah, I am 100% okay. he manning. I am 100% doing the he man thing and not using the. I and then I roar as I do that again, still playing to the crowd. Wow. This Thundercats <laughs> motherfucker, I can't, man. <laughs> yep, we going in. <laughs> I cast God. light in the background to make it look a glowing <laughs> sword. Noticed and appreciated, Gigi. <laughs> <laughs> is that is the, that your your speech? That's it for now. Yeah, okay. if he talks, I'll respond. But um, <laughs> he's staring at you, baffled, yep. face very obviously just until. <laughs> <laughs> Bring him down to the brig. I want him dead by the dike. <laughs> and immediately turns around and you get swarmed by like six pirates. All right. That's a problem we'll deal with later. Uh, <laughs> later? <laughs> that's a problem. I mean, I what can cast me? this. Yeah, what does happen to Nathan? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, were you carrying him through yeah, your whole speed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I have spells I could do for this, but I don't think that they're... Oh. I heard brig, not plank. 
Brig. Uh, and that's good enough right now. I heard Brig not play. I have spells I could try to do. I have things. I don't think I'm... Tactical, tactical play. Okay. Tactical play. Tactical. Nathan, I'm going to like... Have... You have a way I, to keep busy between now and your tour, I, right? I don't know if Hephaestus is super long for this work. If I have to do a roll for this, I will, but I fully want to make it look like I'm going along with this willingly. I'm not, necessarily, <laughs> but I want to make it look like if I have to do a deception or a persuasion or something, I'll try it, but I'm going to go for it. Okay, uh, <laughs> so let me get this right. They're, like, pulling you down to the brig, and you are struggling, but you're trying to make it look like you're not struggling. <laughs> What what I'm trying to do is make it look like not necessarily trying to get out. I'm trying to look like I'm walking and they happen to be pushing me, not they are pushing me down to the brig. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. They're, Very they're much like the, pulling you and pushing you down to the brig. And you're yeah. trying to make it look natural. Uh, yeah, yes, deception check. All right, cool. I, I do a... incredible. I assume uh, I'm just. Yeah, I was going to ask. Did he? Seventeen. Seventeen for me. Yeah. It... You're you're playing it off. You're playing it off really well. Um, Hyphestes can tell you're being pushed, and Viseria can tell you're being I would pushed. I would assume. But the commoners can't really tell. Um, That's all I needed. Did you drop Hyphestes during your whole little spiel, or no? I just I would do some. Were you like he manning with one him. arm and holding yeah. this man with the other? I was. I was actively he manning while holding the old man. Okay, is he coming with you? I'm not putting him down unless he asked me to put him down. Hi, Fessies, <laughs> you got anything to say about that? <laughs> um, uh, my lord, I don't know if it would be best for me to join you in the brig. He was going to kill the historian, to Fessies. Uh, uh, you make a good point. Um, <laughs> as you're being pulled away, uh, this area wait, hold on, hold on a minute. And he walks up, and... <laughs> Your your armor's like big and gaudy, right? Like it's yeah, very, very much, much very oversized, much so. super extra. Body. Okay, it, yeah, it's the Warhammer comparison was a gotcha. good one. Gotcha. He puts out an elbow and leans on a piece of the armor that's like sticking out, obviously yeah. using you as an object and looking directly at Hyphestes. And is it? Like, and who might you be? You seem to be his parrot. We have a lot of those out on the sea. Is he your parrot, Lion? He's a I very don't care. smart parrot. Who are you? <laughs> uh, um, my name is uh, Hyphestes. I am uh, very bright in the mind. Uh, I can. I assist uh, the king of Isseles. In all of his ventures, I'm very good at sneakery. I'm very good at being unseen. Give me a persuasion check. I would make a good quarter Give master. me a persuasion check. <laughs> I'd offer oh, to assist, great. but I feel like my help would be a minus to the roll right now. <laughs> I would I give Bardic have... Inspiration, but I feel like I would also be a minus to the roll. You're on your own, darling. <laughs> great. Um... Oh my god. What Persuasion. what did you say it was? Persuasion. Come on. Ha! Huh. That's, That's a 12. a 12. Could be worse. That's a 12. That's uh, a 12! That's a 12! Otari leaning... <laughs> not Otari. Viseria leaning on Otari. Mmm. Yeah, keep him with the lion. He's harmless. <laughs> and... Turns back, uh, and we're going to start going through everybody else. Uh, does anyone have anything? To, Bo and Gigi, are you going to help them, or are you going <laughs> to let them walk away, or we wait until the night? Like, what are we doing here? I, I follow Bo's lead. <laughs> Bo is not lifting a finger. <laughs> God bless their souls. They are out oh, of my hands. I'll be better not on the top deck, so that's fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, am I am I able to get one last word out before to the to this yeah, captain before away. we get being, hoisted away? Yet. Uh I would shout from the shoulder of Otaria, um, I have a photographic memory. I know the whereabouts of many potential treasures. 
Um, <laughs> he holds a hand up again, stopping you. The door's open. Like, you guys are, like, halfway through the door already. <laughs> holds up a hand. Yeah, I imagine. Turns around. Gets up and gets up and high fesses his face again. Treasures lock what, old man? Treasures that would make this little raid of yours seem like a, seem like a speck, a, a drop in the bucket. You've yet to give me a reason not to kill you. If you kill me, you'll never find said treasures. You see, I offer value. Yeah, I work more on an evidence-based system here, bud. So unless you're going to be giving me something that I can go after, I don't see a reason to keep you around other than fairy tales that you're telling me. Okay, Panda. <laughs> Do I actually know my um... thing? Or can I lie my ass off? Hmm... I mean, you know about the scrolls that we've established. This, no one else scrolls. knows what those are. Do you are, want to tell we, we know what those scrolls. are. Yeah, I'd be very cagey about telling people about that um, for sure. That'll be revealed as we go. So, you know of a couple of things. You know okay. of a, a good couple of plunders, but for a pirate king that is going after, like, metal and people. Very obviously in this for the enjoyment of it. You know what? I'm gonna... I don't... This isn't gonna be any particular check. But it's going okay. to be... It's it's gonna be a homebrew check here. A staple <laughs> of yeah. 5e. I'm gonna, ask, I'm gonna ask you to roll just a base d20, and if you roll... Okay. If you roll good enough, he'll change his. He'll 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 agree with you. Oh, please, for the love hey, of God! I got plans. You can stick with me. I I'm good at this. You're about to die. Probably. I got, he, he said Brig. He said Brig, not Plank. He did say Brig. He said, he said Brig, said Brig not Plank. I'm good with Brig. I'm good huh. at Brig. Oh my God! Nineteen. Oh, yeah, you definitely yeah. know. You definitely know a, a good couple of places that this guy would be interested. Go. In. Uh, I won't make you pull something out of your ass. I just gotcha. say something that, with you know, that is rooted like a fact that only I gotcha. would know. You know. Um, you know and, what? Uh, yeah. We're gonna cut back to what you tell him. Uh, Bo and Gigi, what are you guys doing as uh, all of this is going down? So you are my, uh, how did you say it? My ward? Your ward, yes. I'm going to learn everything about adventuring from you. <laughs> I knew you were smart. In that case, I can let you in on a little. Mm -hmm. You saw earlier I'm quite full of surprises, yes? Yes, yes. This little coin purse holds a lot more space than just a pocket change. Like the boxes? Precisely like the boxes, yes. So if you need anything stored, if you need any contraband done discreetly with, you know who to ask. Ah, I guess since we're sharing secrets, you know my locket? Uh, yes. It holds my parents' teeth. Your what? My parents' teeth. Darling, what were you, um... Mm -hmm. May I ask why? Well, they're dead. Hmm. And I can bring them back. But I want to be a, a co accomplished adventurer first. It's a long story. We'll get to it later. Oh, oh you're right. one of them! Necro! Oh my god! That's a really funny character backstory. That's dark as she, shit, Momo. Yeah, she just could, but she's That's like, insane. I want to be better first. I love that so much. <laughs> that's so funny. I, oh. oh, that's so good. Of all the reasons to have your parents' teeth in a locket, would you believe me if I said that was the best one? 
Ooh, I thought you were just. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> well, no, you'll ask, make a fine how, ward. How many teeth? Like, are we talking like a front tooth for both of them, or are we talking about all of both of their teeth? No, it's just both of their molars. Both of their molars. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, is this a bag on a necklace that you have hidden? In? No, no. <laughs> just like bag of teeth. All right, cool. We had all of us taking the bones in teeth. business venture, and now we got. Oh my god. Gigi with the god. teeth necklace. Okay. I'm glad Atari. It's just would... one molar from each person. Atari would have. It's fine. To say, I'm glad he's not there. <laughs> okay. Um, we're gonna. <laughs> I I did just go role play for a second. Uh, he... I dig it. That was fucking. That was great. Good. That was good. That was, great. That was good. Um, <laughs> cutting was good. back, cutting back to the tension-filled moment, away from the teeth bag. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you could call that tension, just a different it's kind. The teeth locket. The okay. locket. The teeth locket. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Viseria leans into Hyphasis and goes, "What can you tell?" I whisper to him. I don't want the common okay. people hearing this. Um, I, I imagine Otaria will hear it just because I'm literally yeah. on his shoulder. Just sitting next to his ear. Um, but uh, I go, well, well, for starters, uh, I know the location of... Oh, oh, there's a buried tower in the middle of the desert. Uh, and there's a ton of, ton of treasure covered up by the dune. I know the location. It's also, and I, I would love to uh, incite him or something when I say this, but I say it also has what is known in the history books as uh, the fifth scroll. A question. Uh, has has Hephaestus told Ataria about this specifically? The scrolls are like, have you told me the locations of the scrolls? I know you know where they are. I think you, you know... You know, like, a very dumbed-down okay, version okay. of what I know. Like, you in, know that um, one of them would have been, like, on yeah. a ship. One of them is in the desert. Let's be honest. All I really care like to know. Um, yeah. All the time. So, yeah. What you care about. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's why. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, all right. Noted. So, I'm actually... I'm paying close attention to this, too, because I want to know if this... I, yeah. I'm... I actually might assist the inside, do my own insight, because I also want to know if this guy has a response to knowing... If there's a scroll, like I want to see if he uh, knows. Give me, two, give me two insight checks. Uh, Hi, Festy's with sure. with advantage. Festy's oh, with cool. advantage. All right, that is a dirty twenty. Damn. Okay. Hell yeah. Huh. Nope. That's crazy. I want these scrolls. Um, thank you for the advantage. My first roll was a nat <laughs> one. My second one is a. Oh, yeah. beat me by one. Sure. <laughs> All right. You. It's very small. It's very small, but. You see his face, and the best terms that I can give, glitch for a second, like... That's all I needed to see. Keith? Yeah. In, in Hypestus's yeah. mind, is, is if we can bring these people to the other one, it's like, hey, that, two That's one. also where Atari you know? says that. We're, we're synced. We're buddies. Two and one. He leans back turns to the Goliath that you saw uh, in the tower and goes, make sure that these two don't stand too close together. I want him in my office and I want the lion down in the brig. And oh, uh, Goliath <laughs> reaches up like two hands and just grabs the outside of you and takes you off. He's fragile. <laughs> don't drop him. My bounds. All right. <laughs> What's next? Anybody doing <laughs> anything to stop any of this? Uh, uh, I, look, I have a plan in the brig, and if Hephaestus, I don't think Hephaestus is going to die, right? I don't think Hephaestus is going to die. Atarian's looking at that information as well, so I'm, I'm weirdly okay with this. I'm weirdly okay with this right now. Okay. Yeah, I'll shoot, I'll shoot like Otaria uh, a glance of like. Step one. <laughs> Step one. You know. Great. We're nailing Step. it. I should, I should note for it. anyone who came in later, um, the audience and the other players are not supposed to know what these scrolls are. This is a thing with us. No one else knows what these are yeah. yet. So you have not. Yeah, this is just a me and Matt thing. This is set up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but 
Let, yeah, both together they're like, damn, bro, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, my little on. man! Don't take him away from me! <laughs> I'm, I'm just getting that. handed off from Goliath. Yeah, to they Goliath, bring you up like a it. fucking coin right. dog. Um, so if nothing else happens in the middle of that, um, we're gonna cut to to nighttime, and the ship's pulled away from dock. You are now in the ocean. You, the ship has pulled away. You're no longer near the rubble. You're no longer near any other ships. Uh, you're in the middle of the ocean. It is the middle of the night. Uh, Bo and Gigi, you are being led through, like, initiation, essentially. And they're like, all right, this right here is going to be your bunk. This is where you stay. Uh, the, you're being led through by just some rando, just some random pirate guy. Uh, like, this right here, this is going to be your bunk. This is where you sleep. This is where we all sleep. We all sleep in this big, big old section down here. And you look down the row, and there's just rows and rows and rows and rows of just the grossest pirates just living off the fucking sea it smells like seawater and boys locker room all the way down it like it's it's bad <laughs> wow yeah. uh not what i thought about for my first adventure yeah. i'm gonna be honest is that a ladies barrack <laughs> no uh, you're gonna be sleeping right here. Uh, y'all can y'all can keep together if you like, or you can split up. I know you said you were a ward or something. I don't particularly know what that means, but I'm assuming that means you stick close by. So you got this this bed right here. Uh, the weapons that you get are the ones that you steal. So I'd prefer if you don't kill anybody while you're up here on your first day. But that is up to you. Uh, don't start a riot. Captain don't like riots. Uh, we did have to re-up the crew last time a riot broke out. He did kill them all. Um, and I think that's all, that's all you really need to know. Uh, free roam of the ship. Go about your business. Any questions? Yes, uh, one. Yes. So to be clear, murder is acceptable. Murder is indeed acceptable. Uh, however, it is heavily okay. discouraged between the crew. Mostly because it means we're going to have to re-up on the crew again. And you saw what happened the last time mm. we had to re-up on the crew. So, we would yes. prefer if you did not murder your fellow pirates. At least, not while they're on the ship. This Would th you describe it as a terribly strong preference? I... I I don't mean to imply to know your operating system, but you just killed a lot of people because they were excess to crew requirement. That is very true. And I feel like you get a hole like that often. So, like, would it be a big deal long term if we did some killing? You did see Viseria, right? Mm -hmm. I did. Right. Does he take, like, the type of person who likes when his rules are broken? I think he likes to see them bent and questioned. You might want to learn how to read people a little bit better, ma'am. Uh, it's heavily discouraged. The plank never goes away. It is bolted into the floor. So... <laughs> <laughs> it is always an option. The last person who willingly killed a crewmate while they were asleep, was used as ammunition in the next raid. So I would heavily discourage it, yes. The consequence is social. That is what I need to know. Thank you very much. Right, right. I don't like the way that you put that, but I don't tend to like this situation. So I'm you gonna... You don't worry about what I gotta put unless you're intending to pick it up. You worry me. I'm gonna leave. Y'all, y'all ladies have a nice night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> he, he walks away. <laughs> you worry me, I'm gonna leave is a good <laughs> NPC line. That's a very classic D D NPC line right there. I love it. Yeah. But I believe, Bo, you and I are on the same frame of mind. So we do have to kill all of the historians on the ship. <laughs> 
Oh, to secure your spot. Mm, yes. yes. That is prudent. Mm-hmm. That is planning. I like that yes, idea. Yes. Well, not Hephaestus. We can keep Hephaestus. We should probably go get the rest of our crew, our adventuring party. Our what? Adventuring party. Oh, we're not quite on the same wavelength. Darling, mm-hmm. you give me the impression of someone with a cushy upbringing. We were comfortable. We were the first people to ever leave. Mm. So, down here, on the earth and land, it's a very doggy We're dog. actually on the sea right now. Normal people see, metaphorically <laughs> grounded. It's a bit of a dog eat dog world. You look out for yourself because any dead weight and you will drown in this literal and metaphorical water. So we leave the lion man and his old friend to be what they will. Are you sure? Because reinstating. A reincarnated king sounds like the perfect quest for an adventuring party. I mean, for adventure, separate adventurers that adventure per- in parallel and also perpendicular, but not together. Very much not together, no. But his king business, God help me, is becoming a little intriguing. Did you see how his face kind of twitched when he mentioned them scrolls? Yeah, yeah. Now, pirate captains are not often the smartest of men. But even if it's fake and it holds power over the captain... Very well, if we must... We can go... I don't think it's fake. I think it's very real. Take a look at the room around you. Was this how your picture books were? Did it smell like this in your head? Well, they were not picture books. They were, again, historical texts. Mm -hmm. And the historical texts did speak... Of a king, a massive king, very similar to what Otaria is. Is I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't have access to those books. Well, I did plenty. I've read them cover to cover and backwards, which is actually very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. You're a go getter. <laughs> but I need to make it clear. We are not hitching any wagons to this horse, no matter how big, strong, or apparently kingly it is. The moment this becomes a gamble for our lives, we split. Without them. Understood. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh Bo. All right then. I I have a I have another question for you. Yes. Are you again speaking at this volume? No, that would okay. be like <laughs> out of character, like getting. All right. I did not mean to yell that. No. Good. Just making sure. <laughs> Just, I'm not. I'm not trying to monitor it. You are in a sleeping den of pirates, so I just wanted mm. to make sure. In my head, they became. We're all doing lady issue. talk. <laughs> We're doing lady talk. Mind your business. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Do, do you speak any other languages? I do. Uh, oh, you know what? I actually, I am pretty sure I took Elvish as a language. Oh, I do there we speak go. Elvish as well. Secret talk. Okay. That... I speak Elvish. Yes. I also can cast comprehend languages if mm. we ever need that. Sick. Um, is it not under features and traits? Uh. It should be under languages on your. Yeah, languages is yeah is on the is left a, side. Its own category. Oh yes, it is. Uh, yes, I do have Elvish as a language. Okay, I speak common Elvish, um, abyssal, and a little bit of celestial. You know. I speak comic. I speak common, I fe- speak elvish, I speak draconic, and I speak dwarvish. 
I'm more and more right. suspicious that your friend is dragon related since you had draconic <laughs> in that list. One of these Maybe things I... is not like the other, and it's draconic. Gigi, where the <laughs> fuck did you learn celestial? I oh, didn't. I, I, in oh, my sure. mind, I think it's like, it's almost like, um, you know, people that like learn Japanese, but they speak it with such a thick American accent. Oh. <laughs> okay. Watashi It's like that. Toy Ray Wano yeah, Kodeska. Like... Konichi Flip it. Exactly. Flip exactly. It. Someone clip it. <laughs> It's like speaking a foreign language with a very thick... Hey, everybody, if you heard, like, a really weird break in the middle of a conversation between Gigi and Bo Buckshot, it's because Panda's internet died. But we are back on the show right now. Last time on Dungeons and D. <laughs> uh... Dungeons What? <laughs> That's terrible. I'm tra- <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> oh, in the like Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> yeah, oh, we're in the middle I of conversation. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, go ahead. Yeah, we, we still do have to go kill all the historians, though, because I need to secure my spot on the ship. I feel like we're okay in the short term, no? Um, I suppose, but next time we raid, it's a quick... Rape you to the back. It is important we either make it look like an accident or that it can't be tracked to us because I get the feeling that if they found out the one historian killed all the other historians, they might not leave you alive. It wouldn't be right, smart. Right. Value wise, but I don't think they are very smart. Well, I do have the two goons that I took from back in the jail, so I cannot use my rapiers here. Oh, the guns. It's pronounced gun? Goon? Okay. Um, yes. Those are good. Gun. 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 Yeah, it's a little bit of an A sound. Yes, yes. Gun. Yes. Better. I'll practice. A little bit of an A sound instead of two O's. Mm -hmm. So, yes, we could kill all the historians when it is convenient. I thought the plan was go and get the rest of the crew. There were, I guess, two halves of the plan? I like one of them yes. more than I like the I, other half. I vote, I say, before we consider that step, we find the old man. He seems to be in the good graces of the captain, and if we can get mm-hmm. with him, we might also get in the good graces of the captain. So, mm-hmm. How do we find out where he's being held? That is actually a the great break. uh, breaking point. Yeah. Um, we mm-hmm. are going to split from the rest of the party. And I hate to do this in literally episode one after the stream crashed. But uh, everybody but Nathan, take off your headphones. Wow. <laughs> All, All right. right. Fun. All right. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, put those down there. It's my hair. All right. Um, just in case. So, everybody, everybody who is uh, still in the chat, everything from happens from this point onward only happens between the captain and the Hyphestes. Yes, right. and uh, don't uh, talk about it in the chat. Don't talk about it at all after this exact moment. Please. <laughs> this <laughs> didn't fucking happen. All right. Um, Hyphestes gets brought in by the other Goliaths and thrown onto the fucking ground, and you are there alone, pacing, until nighttime. Captain does not come back. Uh, cool. Until middle of the night, knocks open the door, closes it behind him. All right. So I have the impression that you know more than you're letting on to your dear little lion friend over there, aren't you? I perhaps I know quite a great deal of information. Uh, Captain walks behind this desk. By the way, this room is quite large. Think of a usual captain's quarters if it wasn't like crowded. I'm thinking like uh, Treasure Planet, the captain's quarters. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he walks around his desk, grabs the chair, very loudly dragging it behind him in front of the chair, puts it down. Sits down, kicks, kicks his feet up, and goes, All right, then. 
Tell me what you know. Well, obviously I know about the scrolls. Uh, mm. I know quite a lot about them, actually. Is that I've, so? That is so. Um, and I believe you do, too, if I'm not mistaken. Why would I tell you something like that? I, I feel as if we're getting off on the wrong foot. Um, would you... Would you prefer to tell me who you really are? I told you who I really am. My name is Captain Viseria. You're part of my crew now. And right now I'm asking you some very, very important questions that determine whether you live to see the sunrise. Well, there isn't much I really like about this world. But the sunrises are quite nice. And his frail figure kind of straightens up into a more natural posture. Mm -hmm. Now but... we see each other. And Viseria leans back in his chair. So... Are you proud of yourself? Hmm? I made my own. Which is less yeah. than I can say for you. Oh, I'd say I'm on my way. Just fine. Really? Yeah. I'd say you're a couple hundred years too late, bud. I fully intend to see through what we started. Is that so? That's so. Then tell me, why exactly are you battling around with a bunch of random prisoners that I could <sighs> easily have picked up at any time? It may not be the most ideal. I mean, you, you've been, gosh, cosplaying as these pests for so long. Cosplaying? I made my way. I made what I fucking could because you fucked up the fucking plan. So now I have to deal with what's left. Though we all did. We all made do with what we fucking had. There is still time. Still time. Still time. I gave you centuries. You had plenty of time. And now you get on us. You get on my case, for cosplaying is a pest, look at you! At least I present myself as something grand! This wasn't my body of choice, but I had... It isn't. I had to settle a score. I, see, I seem to remember this face. And you're telling me it's not your body of choice. It seemed to be your body of choice for a while, didn't it? This... This man... This... Disgusting creature is being punished by me right now. Punished? Because of what he did to us. Really? It's been 500 years, chap. That's a human body. That brain didn't last past two. I know that. Look. If you don't want to help, that's fine. Give me the scroll. I know you have it. Let's and we'll go visit our brother. Ourselves. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. I didn't say I didn't want to help. Oh. All I was saying is that I'm not entirely sure that you know what you're doing. How dare you question? How dare I? How dare, How dare I? you? He grabs you around your body. Because again, he's huge. Oh, shit. One <laughs> hand. <laughs> Grabs you around your body, holds you up in the air, and goes, If this is your choice, then stop me. If you have the ability to do what you say you could do, then stop me from what I'm gonna fucking do to you. Do I have the power to? Do you want to drop that now? No. Good. Um. um you, you can infer. You can, like... 
this uh, he's grabbing me by the waist i go Ugh. arms he's grabbing you by arms. like the the midsection of your body and holding you up this disgusting body is part of the plan i've got a buffoon who believes he's the true king and i've got a band of miscreants willing to help us find the scrolls this body is part of it they carry me with them on their backs all right and he drops you and he looks at you and he goes if you're so sure of it then they should be able to take it from me gods and he calls in two two pirates uh don't have to make this this difficult Yes, I do. You need to prove to me that you're not a failure like you were. Take him down to see his little lion friend. I think that might be what he needs. Uh, I don't even and, shout anything. Yeah. Yep, they, they tote you out. They tote you back to the brig. Coming coming into the brig, I'm like, well, be on, careful, we... but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We need to bring everyone back in. Bring everyone back. Chat, remember, that didn't happen. That did not happen. You didn't hear shit. Uh. All right. Uh, Otaria, you have a friend. <laughs> uh... Good, good. That's, oh! that's good. I'm happy to hear this. Uh, oh, wait. Did he get thrown in with me? Is that what that means? Uh... I thought you just meant in general. No, nope, Also, I'm... it's weird to be on the other end of that. Right? I've done this to you guys so... so many times for the last year. Man, I'm so I was, back in the brig. I was <laughs> not looking at chat, like, reading stuff in case anything, any, like, spoilers were going through. But I was, like, out of the corner of my eye, that was a lot of all caps messages. Yeah. <laughs> Did not see the content, but I could see the size of the letters. Most of the messages are more along the lines of "there is no war in bossing say," <laughs> like not not saying say. nothing is important. Okay, okay, all right. Anyway, um, so are we are we cutting to me then? Yeah, I we're guess? cutting back yeah, to okay. the brig. So, I get, I get so thrown into the brig. Can we backtrack slightly because I want to be taking note of like the environment around sure. as we're going to the brig? Okay, so yeah. Do I just need a perception check? Like, yeah, I want to take note of like from what's around you, where this brig is in relation to because this ship is really big. Yeah. I want to know like what areas we go through. I want to know how many guards. Are. I want to know. I want to case the joint as much as I can. Okay. And I'm going to get not a good roll, but I have a decent bonus. Just a flat ten. Just a flat ten. Hey. Yeah, or, that could be. A, that could have been a lot better. You're in a room that is surprisingly bigger than you would think it is, but okay. Unlike the uh, the great that you were in before you can notice that the walls of the brig are about three feet thick and that the brig okay. is on the exact outside of the hull. So like you can't, you have a small uh, window to the okay. outside. Um, okay. But they do stretch the entirety of the outside of the hull and are about, okay. 20 feet wide and each of the walls are three feet thick guard scenario is what from what i can tell uh there is i'd say four guards per floor uh per floor yeah uh because remember this ship's tall as shit <laughs> um, yeah i yeah there's four rotating guards per floor so they like walk but it's in, okay. In a circle, That's... down, up and down the whole ship, really slow. on okay. one floor that has uh, people in it. Okay. And uh, locking scenario. What's that? Locking like? scenario. The door is only about one foot thick. It's the only part of the wall that is not like ridiculously thick. Um, okay. But it is very obvious that these are locks taken from like very high class ships. All the doors seem to okay. be stolen. All the doors seem to be bolted um, in and like high class so, fancy locks. Good if mismatched. Yes. Are, right? Yeah. Okay. So, um, important question. If the door was, is, is it easily visible from the outside whether a door is locked or not? No. Okay. Um, so, 
once I get thrown into this uh, this brig here, now though I don't know that um, Hephaestus is coming, right? Because this is, I guess, how long do I have in the brig before he was? You, uh, it's nighttime. Hephaestus it's nighttime, shows up. and he got taken away on the on on the the. I don't know what it's called. The the top floor of the, the deck. He got taken on yeah. the deck when you guys got loaded up, which I was assuming was like early noon, like right before noon, roughly. Okay. You've been down here for hours. We'll put it that way. All right. I guess I guess um I'll are the guard Oh, there's probably a lot of people. Are there a lot of other people going in here? Because I'm assuming uh, there's other people getting put in the brig if there yeah, were so many. It's about, 20, okay. it's about 20 feet wide by about 50 okay. feet long, each individual room. And there is so, probably about five people in each room. So here's my question then. If I wait for like people, new people, new prisoners coming in to calm down, do, is Hephaestus there by the time that's done? Right? Because I'm trying not to metagame like doing plans before I know he gets there. Um... He gets brought in in the middle of the night. I'm assuming everybody's already asleep by that point. You get thrown into the brig. You're not going to be screaming and wailing to like. Okay. Let me okay. When the I'll, walls are three feet thick. So I won't wait for him then. I won't wait for him. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bet again. So I, I'm in this room. Atari's okay. here. Case and Joy. Uh, once I figure out that I don't think the lock is going to be visibly open from the other side, Atari points at the lock and it pops open. All right. Uh, with this, I'm going to kind of like step forward to the front of the room, and I'm gonna listen to see if there are any guards like around. If I can look through like a window, I want to see if there are any guards around. I w basically what I want to see is if, can I open this door quietly, peek out, get a better idea of the situation, and then close it quietly without anyone noticing that I'm doing that give from me, the information I have here. Give me a perception check. Perception check. Let's hope it's better than 10. It is a 24. That's a okay. little better than a 10. Uh, you can Ooh. hear that a guard just passed your door and is walking down to the other side of the ship. Okay. I uh, I wait for him to be you know a reasonable enough distance away, but not so far that another guard might show up. Um, and then very, very slowly, in case it creaks, I like just slowly push the door open. Okay. Um, if, if it creaks, I'm just going to close it, wait. Um, if it doesn't, I'm going to look around and try to, like, case this area a little bit more thoroughly since I didn't get a good I look might, as I was going. I might. It, it's, it's been a whole of, like, the majority of an episode since I was a player. But, um, <laughs> is there a luck check? There is not. Not in canon there is not a, There is not a luck check. But it's something we do if, pretty often. We if do. <laughs> I could do, like, like a look at like the hinges of the door maybe see if i can like inside i don't know but um there's inside, not a... i'm gonna do another flat roll check i'm gonna do another if you roll another yeah. another flat, flat 20, roll okay flat 20 let me i'm gonna look at my resources judge it as a here. luck check and, oh, god all right i'll be have to be honest <laughs> not that i'm usually not but you know uh that's a nine it could that's be worse nine. oh yeah it creaks it, it's not uh, like how, how it's not loud. the loudest scream but like it's it's it creaks it creaks loud enough that in a quiet room you'd be like god damn it um okay i'm gonna i'm gonna do some real quick thinking here okay when i hear it creak um i'm going to like just peek out the crack that i can see and on the other side of this brig like somewhere where looking there would not be looking at me uh, I'm going to cast Gust again, so there's a gust of wind that will hopefully make a noise, draw people over there, down like a hallway. I do want to point out, you are on a ship on the ocean. It it's not that weird that it's... Yeah. I know. Well, there's no... I'm doing a little... You know, maybe okay. there's a draft somewhere. Okay, so but yeah, yeah. I'll, you, you blow it like some, some fucking hooks or something somewhere, like keys yeah. jingle. Uh, I will say, when you look out into the hallway, it's a hallway. You don't see to the other side of the ship. You see... Another oh, okay. four okay. feet away from you is another wall. That's I was thinking like a jail scenario where it's like, oh, okay, no. that's you don't better. See to the other that's side far. Of the ship. Okay, mm. that changes my plan entirely. That's that's much better. So do I see guards on either side? No matter how far down, do I see guards? You did hear it walk away. One of them walk mm -hmm. away. Uh, you are peeking mm -hmm. out of a crack in the door. You don't. You're not looking through like an open door. 
Uh, but yeah. you don't immediately hear anyone following him. But okay. you do remember that not like half a minute ago, a guard did walk past your door. Okay. Uh, there's so many questions here, but this is a heist escape. So that com- comes with that. What was the guard wearing? You don't what like is it the same kind of cobbled together arm? Okay, okay. Not 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 for like specific enough for me to do. No, like, I know. Was like, he wearing, you don't. Like, you armor? didn't see okay, the guards. I have no you idea. Didn't okay, see the that's guards fair. On the way that's in. fair. Um, I'm assuming there's nothing in this room. I am assuming that this room is just straight up, straight uh, all whole length of the ship. All right, and this is getting close to the end of the night. I. Hmm. Do I want to be real stupid right now? Or do I want to try to be... Um... Okay. I do have one one stupid thing I'm going to do for now. But oh I think boy. it's not that not, not that dumb. Okay. I'm going to go back in my room. Door unlocked. Okay. Uh, I'm going to wait. I'm going to see if I can time the guard rotation. Do a classic thing, right? When it is in the middle of a guard rotation... Yeah, like... Yeah. I'm going to try to get out and walk around a loop in the middle of the guard rotation to get a better idea of what this area is. Do I want to be mean? Do I want to be mean? Do you want to be mean? Do you want to be mean, Panda? I'm trying to figure I've out. I've been mean to you. Lord I'm, knows. I'm trying to figure out if I wanted to be like, this is the moment that they come with, with my festies. Uh, <laughs> you you are fully within your. I'm trying so hard not to metagame now, so you are fully within your right to do that. I uh, it's it is your call. I mean, I yeah, think you know what? No, you to... make it. You make you can hear it. You can hear them pass, and I'm gonna say reasonable enough timing. You can make it out and into the hallway, and then we'll judge from there. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, once I, I once I have an idea of the scenario. I am going to go quietly out into the middle of the hallway and start trying to do this loop around to see, like, where I am relative to any entrances or exits. Uh, I am, and I am being alert at this time. If I hear something out of the ordinary, uh, if I have to do a perception check, I will, but... Okay, you see you are relatively close to, like, where you came in. Like, you walk down the stairs and then walk down the hallway. And you were like maybe three cells in. So you're like 150 feet away from the corner. Good. That's, um, that's probably better. Yes. So are you walking towards that corner or are you going the other way? Um, I think I don't have any reason to suspect that they're bringing anyone else to me right no, now. You don't. So I think I'm going to try to go the other way because my goal right now is to see if there are any other entrances or exits. Because this is a huge ship. I don't know if there's going to be just one entrance to this whole deck. And if I can see that one. I know where that one is. I'm going to go the other way. Got it. Um, I'm going to say you make it about 30 feet, and then you hear footsteps on the deck above you. Back to the room! Right, back to the back, room! Back yeah. to the room? Are you relocking back to the, room. the door? Uh, I am actually not relocking the door. I'm going to go, and I'm going to sit back in the, the, like, I don't know if there's, like, a bench or, like, a pile of hay. I'm just going to, like, lean back against and just chill okay all right um yep you hear these footsteps get louder and louder and louder until they're at your door and you see them go to unlock it and nothing happens and then they kick the door in not like off its hinges but like just kick it so that it opens um yeah and you see them drop hyphestes next to you but one of them then turns to you, pulls out uh, his blunderbuss, and puts it under your chin, and goes, "I got a question for you." Yes. Was that door unlocked? Did you have a guy that came by here? Did he not lock the door when he was walking away from you? I I now, try my best. To I look- will say, and he cocks the thing. Mm-hmm. I'd prefer if you be honest with me. You think that. There would be an unlocked door in this cell, and I would still be here. That's a great point. Uncocks it, puts it back in his <laughs> yeah. uh, puts it back just... in his belt, and goes, "Now, nah, you behave, and make sure you don't try and escape, because I will tell you there is a cannon pointed at every door in here." And he stares at you for a second. Um, do I know that's a lie? I don't think that's true. Uh, did you check for cannons? 
I wasn't checking for cannons, but I was trying to get an you idea of the see... area, and I imagine I would have seen you cannons. You saw another yeah. wall. <laughs> okay. Uh, you... oh, another wall where everything is three foot thick? You saw your wall that was towards the outside of the ship. Other okay. side. Can I just inside check it? Yeah, you can. Can I just inside check? check? Yeah, I'm just going to inside check him. Um, that's a se. What's my bonus? I forget. I'm 17. 17? 17. With my information, I'm wondering. It's I don't know about if that'll 70, help or 30 not. that he's fucking with you. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's enough for Atari. 70, 70 30. It's 70 not, 30 is odd that he likes. You have no clue if he isn't fucking with you, but you're like, there's no fucking. Way. Probably. I've seen I that. I was in the that. hall. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> and he just okay. stares at you for a second. That's a lot of cannons. Yep. And he gets up and he walks out, closes the door, locks it again. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, first thing that's going to happen, um, I'm going to wait again for him to leave, wait for the cycle. I'm going to just pop the lock again. Pop the... Um, Hyphestes is with you now. You're just going to ignore him and just leave. No, 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 no. Well, no, this is... I'm just saying that for, for now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, once... I'm also not talking to him notably until right. the guards are, like, a distance yeah. away. Uh, but, yeah, once the once the guards are distant away... Hephaestus! Without even looking, I turn, pop the lock open. My friend, uh, how are you doing? Hopefully they weren't too on rough ground. on you. <laughs> oh, it looks like just... they were. Oh, <sighs> uh, well... Uh... Uh, Teal Rye. Sorry, you're not there. You're not there. <laughs> not there. So, uh, why are you here? This is not where you were supposed to be. No, no. The, they kept me in the captain's quarters all day. We're locked in there. And then when the captain finally showed up, the barbarian he is didn't listen to a single thing I said. And uh, well, here's what I can say. Uh, he definitely has a scroll. Good. I know that. Sorry. That means we're where one of the scrolls is. That's progress. We that's are. progress towards what we've been doing. <laughs> that's the that's the good Excellent. news. The bad news is, uh, uh, well, uh, we will have to acquire it by force. I did assume that was going to be the case. We, do you think we can talk our way out of this one? Any any odd talk trick? Uh, if it doesn't have to come down to violence, it would be preferred. I, my lord, true king of Aesalis, I assure you I did the best talking I possibly could to this captain, but it fell on deaf ears. It, uh, he seemed quite stubborn. Yes, I did. I did get that sense from him. What about the uh, the others? You happen to know where the 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 other two, the the bard and the 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 one with the bag? Um, I imagine they're if they're truly part of the crew, they are in some kind of barracks somewhere. Uh, if we are to face the captain, we should definitely rendezvous with them because, ooh, I just. I just had an interesting thought, actually. This is something that I... Uh, Panda. Yes. The, um... I assume I didn't see any other, like, exits or anything when I was doing this loop. Oh, wait, I didn't get to finish the loop. You Never did. mind. I didn't get to finish the loop. Um, okay, yeah, so that's still a plan. Um, so, yeah, okay, so... Okay, Hephaestus. So, I've managed to unlock our cell. We're not prisoners here at all. It's hard to keep oh, a good king down. Good, good. They, they're not going to like that if they find out, uh, but... We are free to go as we please, as long as no one sees us, or we can convince them to let us go free. Just something I'm good at. I do still have Pass Without Trace. We didn't get a good opportunity to use it last, If but... you could do that on me now, I could finish what I was trying to do before you got here and check this, this brig for other entrances and exits. That might be good if we don't leave tracks. Um... Yes, I could, but if we desire to escape in the night, uh, I only have w one go left with that spell. Oh, we're not uh, going to escape tonight. It's been a long day. We need to rest, recharge our proverbial batteries, but I can get information. If you have a, a spell, no need to waste that resource. We can do that tonight and then do any other plans in the morning. 
Uh, very well, my lord. And I'll cast Pass Without a Trace just for safety on both of us, just because I can. Uh, uh, but it lasts an hour. All right, cool. Uh, is there any stuff? I think, like, I asked before if there's any stuff in this room, but, like, pebbles, bits of, like, random garbage on the ground. Any, like, does anyone have a rock? Like, there's straw on the floor. Is it just straw? There's no pebbles or anything in there? Um. Actually, I might. Me, I don't know. I have a question. Check. Is what? it reason? Do we still have our stuff? Yeah. Oh, cool. We're I think prison. it's you reasonable. In the yeah. I think it's reasonable to assume, and tell me if I'm wrong here, Panda, that Ataria has like a couple of rocks on him for Probably. the backup plan that I am maybe about to engage. Gotcha. Um, so, okay. okay. Hmm. So, uh, noted. Uh, I've got just some rocks. I, if, if Hephaestes doesn't have any uh, other suggestions here, I'm going to do what I was going to do earlier. I'm going to wait for the guard cycle, and I'm going to try to do a, a pass around to get an idea of where the entrances and exits to this place are. Okay. Uh, this time you are much more successful. You not only make it out into the hallway, uh, you can make it down to the other end of the ship, though it does take you some time. Okay. Uh... This, uh, are there, yeah, I mean, are there other entrances and exits to, not even the, the brig, this floor here? There like, is one on each side of the ship, and there one, is a door on the other side of the wall. Like, you have one wall to your left, and the walls to your right that lead to the brigs. Uh, there's a door on the corner that leads inside to the, the meat of the body of the Can ship. I look in there to see if there's cannons? You, you sure can. I'm going to do I'm going to be careful with the door. Do yeah, okay. I'm going to do I'm going to do that. Hopefully there's not a guy in there, but if there is, I'll deal with it. There is indeed a cannon pointed at every single brig. That's too many cannons. Okay. <laughs> um is there anyone in here? There's no one that you can see in the hallway okay. that you are in, but inside that room there's five pirates. Five. That's that's a lot of guys. All right. Um, what are they doing from what I can tell? Are they just like milling around? Are they just kind of awkwardly sitting there? They're playing cards. In fact, they're playing Parcheesi. We're going to get, we're going to (laughs) get, fuck yeah! Parcheesi! uh, They're sitting in the middle under lamplight playing Parcheesi. I am going to start thinking about some (laughs) real nonsense here. And this is probably not going to work, but I got to check the numbers. Also, just for note, Altaria is using his average intelligence to keep track of where the guards are. If it gets too close to rotation, I will try to loop around again. Just Okay. I've DM'd enough to know to talk about that kind of stuff. Uh, okay, so how far away, if I can eat, I mean, I can count. How far away is our cannon from this door? Oh, uh, deep. You went the other Very, way. Yeah, okay. You went I, the other way. It's past all all of these pirates and they're and, they're they're cannons befitting okay. a ship of this size and am i to assume and i guess i can just do another loop around if i'm not sure that there's is there going to be another door on the other side if this is so long if it's such a long you room you can see that there is a door on the other side okay i'm going to continue my loop safely around to that door on the other side okay so that I can look in. And you said we were like third from that distance, yeah. right? Yep, you're um, three cannons in. Which I uh, will remind okay. you, these these things are 50 feet long. So you have yes. 150 feet to clear if you're trying to sneak to a cannon. Uh, so it's it's 50 feet. Okay. If, if I'm, I just want to be clear on what the status of this is. I am at the door. Or closer to our cannon. How far away is our cannon from us? 150 feet from where you are. 150 feet, okay. From where you are, from the door, it's 150 feet. Okay, okay. And the guards are... Midway through the boat. They're they're pretty far down. They're they're, They're pretty far down. Interesting. Okay. They're in the middle of the room. They're pretty far down. If they're pretty far down, I might be able to try... These cannons are probably big, right? They're very big. They're very big. Okay. Um, you could realistically crawl into it. It might be a little tight, but you crawl could in? crawl okay. in. Okay. Well, I can hide behind it. It's hide behind. Yeah. yeah it's probably. hide behind distance. Okay. Mm-hmm. Atari's going to try to be a real 
maybe smart, maybe dumb person here, but um, I assume that these are like normal cannons. I mean, they're you know, they're not like fantasy, like fantasy magically altered cannons. They function decently like regular ship cannons. They're regular ass cannons. Regular ass cannons. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do, I am going to open the door quietly and try to sneak in behind a cannon. <laughs> Okay. Do you want to give me I, give oh me a God. stealth check? I I will. Though add I don't a, feel great about it. I'm going to give an additional you, plus ten to that stealth. Yes, because that's the other thing. I do have that thing in there. Um, that is going to be a twenty-one. Oh right, yeah, you make it behind the cannon. All right, I make it behind the cannon. My goal is to get, um, not necessarily. Uh, I guess up to up to ours. Up to, or or not even. Well, if they're fifty feet apart. Yeah. Are they fifty feet apart? Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, yeah. In that case, I'm gonna go ahead. I, I guess I'd have to be that close. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get up to our cannon if I can. Do I have to make another stealth roll for that? Or uh, yeah, make another stealth roll to see if you get to your cannon because that's passing two more. Yeah, that's that's making that's, hundred yeah, that's feet fair. quietly. Ooh, and that's you're that's fair. <laughs> hey, I have um, bad news. Hmm? Pass without a trace is. I think it's an aura around me. Is, is it? it an aura? It says well, my range geez. is self. Well. And people within thirty feet of me. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe we're that hanging out. For what it's yeah. worth, my next stealth check's a twenty-two. <laughs> okay, I'm willing I don't to know let if that you say that anything. you were fucking piggyback riding this whole time. Yeah, I was gonna say I would have known how that spell works. Okay. Probably. Okay. Yeah. So I yeah. just have the best piece yeah. on my back. Yep. Fantastic. <gasps> Okay, um, my next in in that case in that case my next stealth is a thirty-two. Thirty-two. Yeah, you make it to it. You make it. You are at your cannon. <laughs> I will say you're okay. about. You're within uh, earshot of of the guards. They're not close. Okay. But this room is silent, so you are the only thing moving. I. Here. I want to sabotage this cannon quietly. I don't care how I do it, as long as it's quiet and makes it not work. I will use my powers to do that if that will help. Um, I don't know enough about cannons. I can, like, cut the fuse somewhere, like, mess with something, like, stick something in the loading thing. I want the cannon in front of our thing to not work anymore. Do I have to make a roll to do that in this case? You have your, uh, your, your, your powers, right? Like, your... I have my, I have my powers. Okay. I have my powers. What check do you do to see how effective your powers are? Uh, I, I know what it is. Okay. Um, I believe, Roll yeah. that and, uh... All right. Cool. You can text me if you want to keep it uh, stealthy, but yeah. uh, no, I'll go ahead and tell you it's a twenty-seven. It's a twenty-seven. Okay, yeah. You you use your powers. You it's get a twenty-seven. The, you can get the ball out of the cannon, and you like. Cool. I unload the unload cannon. unload the cannon up. and set it down. I <laughs> unload the cannon. Um. Uh. Okay. Where do I just like? What do I do with a cannonball now? Now <laughs> I just have a cannonball. Um. I. It's probably heavy, so it I don't know heavy. if I can like. It's gonna make it. I'm, can I just, I, cannonball's too heavy for me to use my powers on effectively, so I'm just going to like, as best I can, put it down. <laughs> <laughs> just, you just put set the, cannon the cannonball on down. The All right. So Ataria like like stares at the cannon really hard, <laughs> and the cannonball floats out and then just awkwardly sinks down to the ground. Okay. I'm using my telekinesis on it. All right. Okay. Am I assuming that you're re-stealthing your way out of there? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna re-stealth my way out. I, I'm kind of tempted to... Actually, this is a good question. Hold on. I want to check one more thing. This is not be like an investigation roll. So... I can't see the cannons from the cell walls. Right. Can the cannons see the cells? Is there? Or is it just a flat wall and they're going on faith? Uh, it's a flat if we wall, need to but fire you this, can tell that fire. that wall's thin as shit. So they're going on the fact oh, oh. that they can hear the doors open. Okay, so it's so it's sound. It's not okay. Yeah, yeah not visuals. Because I was wondering, like, sh if I wanted to be real tactical, should I try to unload the cannons between us and the door? I don't the, think I need to go that. Way. The cannon, the the door that you open yes. from your cell is creaky. It's it's creaky, yeah. so they can hear when a door opens, and they're assuming that people uh, don't know about the cannons. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to sneak my my way out All of right, here. I'm gonna have you do one stealth check just to be able to get. Uh. That. 
Yeah, it's a uh, it's good. It's a twenty nine. Twenty nine. Okay, you make it out. You you make it out of there. Right, I cool. will say after in... this after this little heist, I think I want to cut back yeah. to uh, Gigi and yes, Bo. Yes, that's fine. That after took a, you that took a while. Like so I disarmed it. the bomb and set it down. Just yes. <sighs> and now we're gonna no, cut back no to kidding for us. Gigi and Bo. We're what good. are y'all doing now that you wanted to go and get Hyphestes? Oh, where, where, where was he? Wow, my headphones just died. Oh no. The timing. I've been there. The timing. Impeccable timing. We're back to Ataria and Hephaestus. <laughs> <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know, Parcheesi is just the game Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Just the oh, original OG Sorry. Huh. Weird. Okay. So, the more you know. Momo, you back? Okay. Can Old you hear me? Sorry. Yes. Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, so we understood him to go to the brig, so I'm sure that's where we're going, right? Well, as far as we know, he is in the captain's good graces yeah. because we saw him oh, yeah. drag him to the I, office. I went to the brig, Hephaestus oh, okay, went okay. somewhere else, and ended up in the brig independently. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Okay. But you guys didn't see that. So where would we go? I'm following my... Well, the... Go ahead. You're following what? Yeah, following you. I don't know oh. what you call a person that... The ward serves. I don't know what that. Um, is. As a person, I don't I know. I mean, wards usually were wards for knights, or is that just pages? That's, you're thinking squires. You're thinking squires. Would you like to go by squire, Gigi? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like ward better. Ward. I like I'll, ward. I'll, you guys, you guys do the scene. I'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyway, okay. yes. So we don't know if that old man is still in the meeting with the captain, and we don't know where that is anyway. We do know where that lion fellow is, and he seems valuable, the old man, and it seems like they're a little joined at the hip, so he's probably not leaving without him anyway, so, oh lord, this is stupid, we make for the brig. All right. <laughs> is this gonna be, right. is it gonna be good? I will say. Also, it's a guardian, uh, I looked it up. Do you mm. guys just want to go there? Y'all are pirates, so, you're part, yeah, of, the you're part of the crew. <laughs> <laughs> we just... <laughs> Walk on over there. <laughs> yeah, Santra on up. All right, you guys. Okay, I like the confidence. You don't need to lower your shoulders just a couple degrees. You don't want to look like you're looking confident, you know? As far as they're concerned, we're going on guard duty. Gotcha. Do you ask anyone where the brig is? Because you guys don't, you guys didn't get a full tour. You guys were like, <laughs> welcome to the ship. Here's your bed. Don't fucking kill Did anybody. We get food? That was... Did we not get food? No. Oh, okay. I guess we get we stop to get dinner first. <laughs> there we go. Wow. Wow. That's, that's, in, in the middle of like the giant seven foot lion man sneaking around, it just cuts to you two in eating the cafeteria. Dinner, and it goes back. <laughs> in the, in the cafeteria. cafeteria. Oh my god, that's perfect. You know, I appreciate you, Gigi. This is one part of the work life balance I often neglect. Mm -hmm. That is, this is smart. I will say it is unfortunately a uh, fish based slop that you guys are eating so mm -hmm. <laughs> fuel is f fuel is fuel but i am grimacing hard <laughs> it remarkably somehow has no cow. flavor and too I, much at the same time um i just had a I, I hate to interrupt but i just had a question that might be interesting yeah. for both for our sake but also if they're going to the brig what's the lighting situation like in the brig especially at night uh there are lamps but there's only lamps in the hallway. So the only light you get in a brig Got room it. is coming through the window on the door. Okay. That's about it. I have dark vision, so I'm fine. But I was wondering for, like, sneaky purposes. All right. Continue. Okay. You guys are just going straight to the brig after you have dinner. <laughs> after you have dinner. I'm sure I'll okay. take a bread or something in case they haven't gotten food. Gotcha. Mm. Fantastic. Okay. So you guys will make it to the door to the brig. Like, the door outside of where the actual brigs are. Uh... And the guard there goes, Aye. Hold up there a second. I just need to make sure that uh, you guys aren't planning on springing anybody. Hey, you two, the newbies. No plans of doing such today. I do have bread, though. Is that allowed? Are you going to eat it? No. Why do you have bread, then? <laughs> How do you... Don't mind him asking that question, darling. You don't know about emotional support breads. Some of us um. are not so blessed. Some of us are not so blessed 
to be sure-footed and confident at night. Some people get a little bit of heebie-jeebies, so they need to be comforted in, in their grip. Bread, it's got a little bit of give. It's the second best thing behind a, beside a comforting hand. Hence, my friend needs her emotional support, Bread. Obviously, she's not going to eat it. That would be heartless. All right, so you're going to have to make Is this decision. happening right outside of the break, by the <laughs> way? Is. Can we hear this? <laughs> yeah. okay. have to make no, I need you to make a deception check. Um, <laughs> of course. <laughs> That's... <laughs> insane but what if i argued that i genuinely believe this in character <laughs> how about we let ataria uh, do the talking in <laughs> most cases <laughs> once the party reunites oh, do you need a bardic it's okay i you need a, i got nate oh, yeah. got i got nate okay the guy looks incredibly confused and he looks over at his buddy and he's like uh, i i i apologize for any offense i guess uh yeah you guys you guys move on i don't want to talk to you anymore and he <laughs> opens the door for you guys to be able to go into the brig uh otaria <laughs> where are you right now um i th that's kind of more of a question for you i guess like we're we're back in the the room shortly how long has Fuck passed it. i'm gonna do because since... i'm gonna do for a comedic effect here um, All right, cool. Do, the do guards a don't look in the door when they open it for everybody. So <laughs> it opens. You, <laughs> Gigi and Bo are standing right there as you two are leaving the interior door. So you guys, I are hold just up standing one there. giant claw, just like <laughs> I'm on his back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you gonna walk in? Mm -hmm. or do you, you got a weird look yeah. on your face, mm -hmm. do you? I. <laughs> Oh, I I'm like so tempted to do something incredibly stupid. I just like stare deeply into my emotional support bread and walk into the soup. <laughs> <laughs> um, d wait, okay. Important question: Did we hear all of this? Like, if, if we're right no, there, you I were you were sneaking out of the interior room when this is happening. So I I don't okay, imagine so you that you're focusing on the conversation outside the door. Yeah, you were Taria. trying to sneak away from the door, and then the door opened, and you're just. Uh, uh, I'm going to do something wildly, wildly, maybe stupid here. Ataria, going to look up at you guys, going to point at himself and Festies, and then up at you guys. Like, like, are we going? <laughs> There's nowhere to go. <laughs> like, are the we open. going? Um, <laughs> how, how stupid should I be, guys? I have a plan, but it's not a good one, but it's funny. Oh, you have to <laughs> do it then. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, yeah. I, they I, don't even Ataria, know we're supposed to fight the captain. <laughs> Ataria just walks up. I got a plan and it's not good, but it's gonna be really funny. Okay, Bo and Gigi, Ataria how you reacted to that? Just walks up. He's coming to you. Says, ah, you two are here. Excellent. What? What are you doing? Get back and get. What are you talking? You brought me the bread that I requested. Let's go. Request my ass. <laughs> we don't know this man. What is he doing? You're out of really his fucking me here, Mike. <laughs> 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 I was gonna go for. Uh, <laughs> the two guards are now looking okay, in gonna, the now open door and are like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn to to Gigi and hope desperately that she's picking up what I'm putting down here. <laughs> like, don't, I don't, not you, her. Let's uh, go. Uh, I I eat my emotional support bread and panic. <laughs> Wait a minute! Oh I thought she said God. she wasn't now supposed we, to be eating that. I turn to the guard immediately, and I'm like, you see what the help around here is like? I request bread, she eats it in front of my face. I'm sorry, am I supposed to know who you are? I don't think so. I don't believe we've met. Nice to meet you. I hold out a hand to shake. I, I, uh, <laughs> I'm going to need you to make a deception check with advantage. I, um... <laughs> Um, the other, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the other thing I'm thinking. If well, I, I won't until I get questions. Okay. I guess I have a I I do have a backup plan here. Okay. Um. Anyway, Good if I'm doing a God. with advantage, you said uh, awesome. If I get advantage, She's it's confused. got a two. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, I got a fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. He's not convinced, and he shakes your hand, but he's like, "Yeah." Wait a minute. Why do you have a man on your back? I am the quartermaster of this ship. I oversee the That's the prisoners in the brig. Parrot, the... parrot. 
that's what Captain said. Parrot, I think he's funny. Tap, tap. Okay, but that's, that's a guy. That's not. And you're a pirate. Have you done worse in your time? Look, he's a small, funny man. He's very smart. He helps me with things. And I get health insurance. And I give him health insurance. <laughs> Better than you. <laughs> what do you think about that? Do I get I'm health so insurance? I'm so tempted to give this man damage because I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Panda, so am I. I got a plan and then other people <laughs> Whatever. I, I got a plan. Uh, I got a plan. This okay. is... Um, <laughs> and he <laughs> moves his hand out of the way and his buddy's like, you didn't confirm anything from them. He's like, I don't want to talk to them. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and cover this. I turned to the other guard a second ago. You think that I'm a prisoner down here? I'm wearing shining armor. I have a massive sword in my hand, and I'm carrying a man. Do I seem like a prisoner you threw in the brig? Clearly, I'm supposed to be here. I want to give a pause. Walking about as I please. I'm going to give a pause. <laughs> For comedic effect, everybody who views this in sort of a mu movie lens, I want you to pull back from this shot. He's talking to two pirates in the most raggedy clothing you've ever yeah. seen. The No, that's my point. <laughs> that's my point. I'll talk more if they want to talk. I got a plan here, but my goal is like, surely you pirates would not have put me in a prison cell with all of my stuff. That's the angle I'm going for here. I will he deception check if I need what? to. If he wasn't <laughs> Yeah, you know what? No deception check. That I want. I want right, a deception cool. check. I will that. totally do that. Twenty nine. Fuck me. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. They're like. That's actually. That's a great point. We would have stolen all of that shit if he was anything but a but a pirate. Okay. Yep. Yep. I guess you won't let alone Missy. You go and get yourself another emotional support bread. You seem to have eaten your entire <laughs> loaf in two seconds. So I please <laughs> continue. I guess. <laughs> Yes. Uh, I'll shout. I, 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 I bet he's going to shout to the pirates as we leave. Like, you should unionize after. <laughs> you know, you could get to help, help the church pirates as well. Union. You know, Captain, Captain Viseria gets all this wealth and you are in peasant's clothes. <laughs> they look at each other as you're yeah, walking I, away. And that's the last you see them as you walk out of the, yeah. the brig. So I quickly grab both of the others and like immediately take them out of earshot yeah. of these guards uh, and I just kind of look I look around at both of them I shoot an extra glance at Bo and I'm like I told you I was good at talking what the <laughs> shit was that what was I'm your place I'm a king I knew I fight with the armor I thought that they weren't going to question they're not that bright and here now we're out of the prison here's my thinking okay this is a big big ship that we're on that captain doesn't seem like the type to really mingle with his subordinates, I think we can lay low on the ship and just not run into him for a while and make a better plan. I mean, it's just a city. It's a, it's a city-sized ship. We can probably avoid the captain, guys. <sighs> I can agree we should get some distance. Yes. I was planning on going out the other side, since that's probably farther away from his quarters, but then you showed up, which was really excellent timing on your part. Can I, If you have bread, I'd take it. I had bread for you, but I got nervous and ate the whole thing. It's okay, GD. This is your first time. You'll get the hang of it. Yes. Adventuring is actually very hard. The books make it look so easy. Yes, the books are something. Uh, I want Anyway... I want hmm? to unfortunately interrupt your planning That's session. That's totally fine. Um, you hear, since you're now on the deck of the ship, uh, yeah. middle of the ocean, big ass deck of the ship, you hear from about 70 feet away, sitting on two barrels. You see, that sounds like a great plan. God damn it. And oh dear. From the <sighs> other side. You see this ten-foot shadow stand up. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think you're gonna be avoiding me at all. And in fact, I don't think I want you on my crew anymore. And he grabs his sword and unsheathes this six-foot-long saber and holds it to his side. And 
as he is looking you all up and down. Obviously sizing you all up. (laughs) He looks back and forth across everybody and head down. Ah, sorry. I'm trying to do something while I'm at, while I'm talking, saying all of this. Uh, no, I, I I know the feeling. It's hard. <laughs> as he is looking at all of you, he simply says, "I had such high hopes for everybody here, even me." Even me? I thought you hated me. You're right. I hated every single one of you. I just wanted to make this less bad for you. And then he starts to grow bigger than he is. You see his eyes start to glow red. And this figure stands before oh, you. Oh, holy fuck. What the ah. <laughs> Oh, ah. holy. Oh, that's a horse. Oh, my God. Horseman. My, my name is drinking. War. And he holds out his sword. Oh. And you must fight. And that's where we're oh. going to end session one. Oh, hey. dear shit. Okay. Okay. Oh, Okay. Thank you, everybody, for watching the first episode of (laughs) Outlaws of the Seven. (laughs) Well, time to use my paladin powers. I'm so done, dude. (laughs) Okay. And we are going to be asking for a fight. Yeah, you know way more than we do. I mean, I didn't know he was a fucking... (laughs) If you want to hear the reactions to the to the first episode of Outlaws mm. of the Seven, uh, be sure to watch backstage the show with a name. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Someone suggested Behind the Wheel as a new one, which is decent, that's as in good, Ship's dude. Wheel, but also feels like a car one. We'll we'll come up with something. something out. Below deck, <laughs> below deck. That's good. That's below cool. deck is below deck is good. That's yeah. Uh. We'll come up with something. We. It took us forever to get a name anyway. We'll come up with another one. Panda, great job for your first ever session DMing. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent job. I've said many times, and I'll say this again in the after show, but I want to say it again. I've said many times, I've played D&D since high school. I have taken a lot of new people through the system. Panda, out of like everyone I've taken through the system ever as a player jumped into it the fastest so i'm not surprised for the record i'm not surprised you did well i knew you were going to but on that note we're the not gonna do any more week. of it next week yeah, we'll next, next week. week see you next week for next week fight <laughs> with <player>. captain viserius <laughs> or better yeah. known as war we'll see you guys next time that's gonna be a problem yeah Oh. See ya. Oh.